How we all doing tonight? We're here to play us some good old glove. I think it's actually this hand. It's hard to say. He has four fingers of all things. We're playing Glover tonight, but we're not playing the old N64 card, even though I do have it right here, ready to go. We are playing the newer PC release that just came out last week. I want to check this out to see what exactly was different in this version compared to the original. It, it's pretty much a glorified emulator for both the N64 and uh, PS1 versions, but they put a little more effort into the N64 version. The PS1 version is just a flat-out PS1 emulator, nothing different at all, but the N64 one had some extra work done to it, it as widescreen support. Some graphics look a little different, so I kind of want to see how that will work. Plus, I'm also going to play on an Xbox controller. Compared to the good old N64 controller, I don't know how this is going to compare because this controller is more designed for this kind of game. Something like this may have some more issues, so we'll see how that goes. But hey there, Matt, how you doing? Now, before we do start, I do want to mention that I might, once in a while, swap over to the Glover N64 cart itself and playing on actual hardware. If there was like a big difference I want to see real quick, I might like load this up, because I do have 100% save file on here from when I did my Let's Play of this game, which was the last time I played this. And I recorded that for you two back in like 2013, so it's been close to 10 years since I last played this. It was like midway through that year I think I recorded, so a little over 9 years at this point, going closer and closer to 10 as I speak. I, I, the age is hitting me. It's hitting me hard. Let's go ahead and swap over here to the actual game itself. When it comes time, I'll get up and put the cart in the actual system, but for now, let's play this. I didn't notice that they did have an update to this game. So now when you load it, it just says play, play Windows version. I don't know why there's two plays, but play Windows or play PS1. Windows version is the N64 version. There is apparently a PC port of this game as well, but I think this is more based on N64 from what I heard. I'm not exactly sure, but then PS1 is just the emulator version. We're going to be sticking with the Windows one because for me, I've played Glover on N64, so I want to see this one. Right, give it a minute, because, yeah, it, it takes a sec to get caught on OBS. The intro is completely different. This is Pico now, instead of Hasbro. So we don't have the Hasbro thing anymore. They're no longer involved with this game, which makes sense, because they got bought out. All right, before we do anything else, I'm taking away that display capture, because that can cause some major lag issues. All right, we don't need it anymore. Now we're just getting good old N64, in theory. So let's go ahead and press the start button. At least that's mapped correctly. I'm gonna turn this down my ears because this is a little loud. I'm already noticing right away these colors are a little weird. Like that's a, like a pinkish look in the background. It's not like that on actual N64. So let me go ahead now just actually do that. I want to swap to the actual cart itself because there's there's a lot of difference. So I'm gonna let the intro, I guess, play. <laughs> See what's different here. Let me put in the cart so we can get this started. I think I made sure, I had to make sure my microphone mute. I'm already noticing a weird thing. That crystal did not look right. That was weird looking to me. But now I want to swap over here to this said feed. Right now it's a blue screen, but I got to flip a switch and then get an N64. Okay, in theory, we have N64. Good old N64. There you go. <laughs> it's like, took a minute for the capture card to really pick it up. But yeah, here we go. So, already in the beginning, again, they had to change a bunch of this information because half of these companies are no longer involved with this one. Pico bought out Glover. They've apparently bought a lot of games. So, we may see more games get resurfaced. There was another one they did not too long ago. I can't remember what it was. But yeah. Let's go ahead and hit the start button here real quick. I'm looking over the feed, so I'm going to be looking away. Yeah, you can kind of already see it right there. I mean, my capture's a little dark, but besides that, it is the same blue, but no pinkish in the background. I don't know why I ever noticed that as a detail. It's weird. Let's let this sit for a second. I should play the same intro, because I want to see that crystal. 
You doing right? That's good to hear, Matt. Yeah, I'm doing myself uh, good myself. Thanks for asking. So here's our intro. Everything here should play pretty much the same. I would imagine, obviously, the lag difference being bigger in some stages. This one doesn't really have much lag. So we'll have that benefit on PC. No slowdown, really. But there, look at the crystal. That thing is an actual crystal. You can see the grooves in it. You can see through it a little bit. Like, it looks like a proper gem. Compared to in this PC version where it just... It didn't look right. Like, it just flat out looked weird. Like, just... It looked like a green ball that wasn't shaped like a ball. Like, that that's weird to me. Alright, let's go ahead and swap back over now to the PC. Also, the intro is going to be desynced on this version, because of course it will be. A lot of N64 games have that issue if you take away your lag. So let's go ahead, I guess, just start this up. I do have some files on here when I was practicing... We're not practicing... <laughs> it's not much, it's not actually I had some files on here when I was testing some stuff out, so... I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to immediately put in my good old username. There we go. And we can pick a difficulty, but I'm going to pick normal. So, that's what we're going to stick with. Also, let me know if the audio is fine, because this game is, like, really loud. Some parts are really quiet in others. For my testing, it seems like it was okay, but certain scenes are louder than others. Yeah, Matt, the, the outage thing got resolved. Yesterday, I was offline for the entire day, because someone, apparently, from what I heard, someone hit a fiber line with Comcast's, I guess, like, one of their main branches, and it took out, like, a good chunk of the state. Which was really weird. That's never really happened before. Or at least in this scale. Yeah, these crystals look terrible in this version. They look awful. They're just green... Like, cylinders, basically. Barely still... Uh, spherical. Also, Glover's mouth looks really weird. It's probably the upscaling to it. There's our villain, Cross-Stitch. Alright, seems fine. Okay, that's good. Again, if it's too quiet, too loud in other areas, I'll have to adjust things. Right now it's quiet, but that's on purpose. The game is very quiet in the beginning. So here's our little interactive thing, Mr. Tips. Hi, my name is Mr. Tip. You want any hints, just speak to me. You can do this by standing me and pressing the B button. I was going to say, I'm hitting A. Come on. By the way, you can press and hold B if you've lost your ball. Which, yep, the ball radar. Very helpful in this game because you're using it a lot. Now, the controls are inverted. Like, I believe it's... Yeah, you can already see it. This is how it was on N64. So, right goes left and left goes right with camera. I forgot that's the sound effect when you zoom out the camera. It's just a nice whoop. Okay. He's doing a footstep, and I'm not even moving my stick, so... That's weird. This is how it programmed. Now, I want to see, did they keep this in when they did the update? Yep. Why is this here? This is debug information. You can't do this on N64. That right there, I got my X, Y, and Z coordinates for myself and the ball and every single frame advancement in the game. You're not supposed to be able to see this, but if you press... The shoulder and the bumpers in, you get this information. I don't know why this is here. <laughs> so stupid. But yeah, I got debug information now. So, the bottom three XYZ coordinates are how far away you are from the ball. As we can see, when I'm bouncing it, you can see the coordinates slightly change because of where I am in relation. Same for when I'm throwing the ball. It's it's weird. You're not supposed to see this information. And then the same thing with the XYZ, that's just where Glover's moving, the top set of coordinates. You're not supposed to be able to see this crap. You're really not. It's it's weird. So I want to do this, like, intro thing real quick, because I want to see how this plays out. Because this... we already seen the weird crystal look. Why? <laughs> what was that? Sorry. Did the, did the wizard fart? What's with the sound. Like, that didn't sound right to me. I, I'm not the only one who just thought that was stupid. You know what? How is it in the N64 version? We gotta see. We have to see, because this... No. No, 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 no. Something ain't right here, Chief. Alright, just give me one sec on that one, because... 
I'm gonna. I, I think I'll just play off the capture card. It might just make this easier. I may. I just. I don't understand that sound effect. I don't. It's awful. It's absolute awful. All right. Let's just make a new file here. And I'm gonna watch the intro here because the intro is the same except the crystals look better, obviously, because. That's just a weird difference. Yeah, see, you can already tell. The crystals look like crystals. But loading it in. Alrighty, we can tell it looks worse by comparison. But that's just because, again, N64. The N64 itself has a piece of hardware outputs in a very weird way, which makes things look very blocky. So, yeah, some, some things don't age well when it comes to that. So, let me try the same trick. So, LRZ, right? doesn't do anything so that weird debug thing not in this version as it should be now we go get our ball now we go over here into our little fountain cave and give it back to the wizard way different you can hear the electricity pull and Glover makes a whoopee instead of a splat. Like, that just, I don't know. Maybe this version's more based off of the original PC release of Glover, because apparently that was slightly different than the N64. It played the same, levels were the same, but there was, like, slight alterations. That might be what we're seeing here. So. Well, that's a nice void. You guys like seeing the void? Let me fix that. Let's get out of the void. So let's get out. Come on. Uh, game. Game. There, there is a there is a game being played here, right? Like we can hear it, but we don't see it. <laughs> like I gotta like rehook it. Hang on. Why? Why? There we go. <laughs> so I was like, game, <laughs> game. <laughs> All right, we're good now. I guess that'll be an issue if I flip flop things. His audio is cutting out. Why is it cutting out? Okay, this room is just really weird. Let, let's get out of here. Hey, Kira, how you doing? I will say, loading is pretty good on this version. Not surprising, because it's more modern technology. I'm playing this off a hard drive, not my solid state. So, this is running off a mechanical. Don't really matter. I'm not gonna read any of these tips. I'll just figure it out on my own because I already got a good amount of the controls figured out. The B button is the bounce and the throw the ball. This control is super slippery though. Like I'm barely hitting the stick and Glover moves. This is one to one mapping of the N64 stick, which in some ways is not the best because it's a little too sensitive. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I don't overcorrect myself because of that. So what's the button to get on ball? Okay, that's the release. That's the left bumper. And then the trigger. Okay. Actually, which one's which? I never remember which bumper, which trigger. Okay, triggers this thing. Tr left triggers to let go of the ball and right... Uh, not the right. Uh, left bumpers to get on it. Right bumper doesn't really do anything. The trigger swaps between the different forms. And you hold it to make it just go automatic. In the original, you just like mash the button and do it faster, but it doesn't really work in the same way here. So that should be ground pound, right? Yeah. So hitting the... That was a weird delay. Hitting the left trigger is ground pound in the air. So I think I got the gist of the controls then. A little bit weird mapping in certain areas, but it's just... It's the nature of the controller. Can't really help it. And you gotta get to the exit with the ball. It's the only way you beat the level. The little, like, ending sparkles look slightly different, but it's not that big of a difference to me. Just kind of exhausted from yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah, company over the house with kids. It's very draining. Gonna agree with that one. So I can understand that. Hopefully today is just kind of like a lax day for you then, Kira. Okay, so you can just press the button to do the... Cartwheel, we're gonna need to know that later. All right, before we continue, there's one thing. I did say a certain button's useless here. This one, the right bumper, or right trigger, but 
That's only in normal mode. We're gonna quit the game real quick. Because, at least in my testing, this still works. We wanna go to this file. It's set up on an easy mode game. I selected the easy mode here, because in easy, you should... Yeah, this is it, right here. If you hit right bumper, Glover does this little, like, OK symbol. If I try that again in normal mode... Just to confirm this is all in the way I expect. Press it again. Now he has it. He's not supposed to have that. That is a bug. So, let me show you what I mean. Unfortunately, the only way to do that is I have to completely reboot the game. This is just the nature of how Glover works. So, I guess while I'm doing that, let me swap back over to N64 because it would be easier to show it here. This would be the same button. It does not work. That is because... I got a quick game. Got to start. I can go delete that same file I just made. So let's just delete it. Call me A, because I feel like A today. If you hit normal to easy, here's your difference. Bonus levels are closed. But, in comparison, you get something called the Garp Finder. Which is the, the card thing in the game. So, let's go back over here real quick. Man, it really takes a while to capture the game again. You can't use the Garrett Finder in normal mode. It doesn't work. And that's just because in normal mode, they balance it out a bit by taking away a feature that lets you find cards. That's how they make it more difficult. That's like the only difference between the two modes outside of your starting lives. Another thing is you can't play bonus levels, but that really doesn't matter. If you select an easy file, I don't know why I'm getting a cutscene. Again, that's weird, but whatever. If you select an easy file, use the Garrett Finder, swap to a normal file, it's a glitch that lets you use it in any difficulty. So it just makes the game easier at that point. It's something they just should have done to begin with. So if I get through all this, we can press the button for Garrett Finder. And now we go quit. We go back to normal mode, and then it should work. And now we got to actually, yep, dip, 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 dip. yeah, yeah. Fast talking, great. Now we can actually start the game, because we're all good. We can play the bonus levels, and we have the thing to find cards. It helps. Let me get my mouse out of here. This game doesn't hide your mouse, unfortunately. You guys can't see it, but I can. Oh, that's fine, Matt. Yeah, hopefully Amber feels better soon, if that's the case. It's the second day in a row she's been feeling out of it, from what I can tell. Hopefully that's not going to be a reoccurring thing. Alright, so now if I press my button, I can find cards. There is no penalty to using this thing in normal mode, so we might as well use it. That water is really loud. Like, louder than everything else. It's kind of weird. Take this over here. Now, one thing is they invert the controls when you're on the ball, because down is forward and up is backwards. That is different. Depending on your difficulty as well. That's the other thing that's different between normal and easy. Which is why normally, if you watch like a speedrun, for example, you'll see people play on easy. Because there's a speed trick you can do by just mashing the button to get on and off the ball. And if you don't have reverse controls, then you can just zoom. I'm going to get the crystal here. i got to be careful, but collect the cards with this. Why are the sounds so busted? It's so weird. But if I do this, I get a multiplier gotta be careful because if I'm too hasty with that ball I can destroy it and destroying the crystal just instantly makes you lose life I remember a good amount about this game but even though I haven't played it in almost a decade I've seen plenty of gameplay of this over the years so I'm familiar enough with the basics of it still I think in my opinion this is an underrated gem on the N64 by today's standard this game gets memed up a lot but I think it's a pretty fun platformer on the system. So to see a re-release is nice. It's just the way it was handled is a little weird, I will say. It's so confusing when you boot the game up, but what the heck is Windows version or PS1 version? Like, I think they still need to fix some of the wording. At least it's better than Play Glover or Play Glover. That was just stupid. And I'm glad they actually did change. I don't like how the cards are sounding. That just sounds messed up to me. Like, not a good way. 
We got this as a checkpoint. Why? <laughs> that thing was like a mile wide. It shouldn't be that big. Okay. Trying to break this thing. It's still wobbly. <laughs> there you go. That's intentional because I had cards in here. Nope, I can just smack the ball. I, I'm still getting used to the controls, too, because it's weird to play this on Xbox controller. I've never done this before. It just feels wrong. I'm, I could have hooked up, like, my GameCube controller instead to use, but I feel certain buttons may not work, because, like, hitting Y is first person, that would have been more awkward on the GameCube controller, and I wouldn't have access to four buttons on the side. I would only have, like, the three. I would lose out. I think it would be on left trigger I technically lose. Which is pretty important for this game. That's the first level. There is a difference when it comes to these portals because I don't remember them looking this basic and bland because they're missing something. They're mainly missing the like sparkle effect they have. Well, not the sparkle effect they have that. The like rainbow sparkle effects. Like the, the, the whole void around the warp is just completely gone. Which to me looks weird. Hey, that was a achievement. Atlantis complete. So just 100 percent a level you get achievements in this version. Sure. That's normally Glover's scream when he falls. Who did that? That wasn't me. <laughs> weird. Alright. Give me the life. Neat. All right, I'm going to, real quick, swap back over to N64. As I do want to see something about this specific level. So I do need to kind of like real quick play with A. I'm just curious about that warp thing, because that's just not right. That ain't right at all. I'll just get through to the end real fast. Something doesn't feel right. Also, I want to hear the water. As weird as that sounds. Probably not gonna like flip flop between versions too much longer, if you want to be honest, because it's not much if I need to. And if we do this in the future, this will be the last time we start a new game. What was that? Did I just hop in the air during cutscenes? That's different. Sure. So here I can actually just hold up on the ball. That is not a difference between versions, that's a difference between difficulties. So just let this go real quick, then we'll off the first level and go from there. Yeah, that portal's not, like, 500 meters wide. We'll see how it is in Atlantis itself. Because that just, I don't know. To me, that looked way bigger than it's supposed to. That thing was big. Too big. Now, I can't remember the specifics, but at least I remember reading a couple years back that there's a way, if you're playing in easy mode, to get into the bonus levels anyways. Oh, yeah, that water was way louder than PC. There's a way to get in the bonus levels anyways, in any difficulty, it doesn't matter. You don't even need to unlock them, you can just... If I remember correctly, it's like a clip that you can do, like in the wall, so you can just get into the loading zone, so... You technically don't need to worry about that. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that thing. <laughs> that ain't big. That's small, so they increased the radius, I don't know why. They did. I just... sure. Now real quick, this is the one tech, I'm gonna do this with the ball. I gotta be on a flat surface for this to work, so I gotta go back to the beginning. I was really curious about the one thing, I forgot this. I thought there was a button to reset your camera, but I might be thinking of another game. So if I just mash the button to get on the ball, so in this version it's L. Look at me go. You can still do that in PC, it's just... It's easy only, that's an easy only exploit. So, big difference. I hope you guys are liking like this dual perspective thing right now though, because I've, like I said, I played this game a lot back in the day in the system, and I do notice like little weird quirks here and there in certain changes, so I figured something like this would be probably worth doing, because there's probably been a decent amount of people streaming this new port of Lover, but they're not looking at the original. 
in comparison. Yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow. What in the world, man? That is <laughs> that is not even close <laughs> to making the same graphic. Wow. <laughs> can we can we have a side by side, please? That ain't the same thing. <laughs> that ain't not even close. Hang on. I have my capture card. Can we just like, eh? Yeah, <laughs> look at that. To that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> they really, <laughs> they just took away half the effect. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we don't need half of that, right? <laughs> Who needs half of the effect? Probably some audio exception there as well, but it's fine. I don't worry about it. I just, I don't understand. <laughs> it looks like crap. This looks like crap by comparison, man. And we did the comparisons with this in PS1 version back in the day. Yeah, I remember that was a one-off bonus episode. We didn't play a lot of the game, but we played enough of it to see the differences between like like the hub world stuff or the controls, the first level. I'm, I can't remember if I played any more past level one. It's been a long time and I actually have not played that version since. The PS1 version is vastly different. So it is something I would like to play at some point. I might just do that as like an actual stream thing. It technically count for the first playthrough series that I do because what I played on that bonus episode is all I played and I don't remember any of it. So, it's been that long. There's plenty of differences. Make it probably worth it. At least you can still do that. You can change your ball by just pointing at it with the ball finder. Why'd I do that? <laughs> I mean, I, there was no logic between that. It's just for some reason I thought it was ball form now. <laughs> that just happens when you play this game. Sometimes you tunnel vision. Very easy for any player to do that. <laughs> Not just me. There we go. Like, can I get up, please? Okay, wait here a minute. Let me zoom out the camera, because that's too pinched in for my liking. I'm gonna probably mess up the camera control a little bit too, because I nowadays have swapped my playstyle over to inverted. From that to being like normal, as they call it in the games now. Like I just don't Something doesn't feel right here. I think that corpse shouldn't be a corpse anymore. Something tells me the graphics are a little busted. <laughs> just a little bit, yep. <laughs> They're, they're not supposed to be here anymore. They disappear when you kill them normally, but uh, okay. Guess that's not the case in this version. I guess they just stay as corpses. Sure. The PS1 version was easier in some way because of a glitch that exploit wasn't present in 64. I'm not sure which one in particular you're talking about, Cure, but yeah, the PS1 version is considered the worst version, and it has some more bugs to it. So, not exactly sure which one in question, because again, I haven't really played it. I've barely seen people even play that version for that reason. It's not really a well-liked port of the game. It just, there are a lot of people that just didn't care for it, so I just never see it talked about. But the N64 one, yeah, that's a whole different story. Actually, can I kill these guys first? They need to get out of my way, so. Try not to get any of these garabs. Oh, I forgot these guys also drop garabs. Because they didn't in the first level, but then they do here. I could take my ball over here, but that's just a bad idea. 
Now it's interesting how much platform you can do in this game, but half of it really doesn't matter when you don't have your ball. So while you can platform like any area, sometimes it's just not really needed. Oh, that break. Hit like the corner of something. And another wonky hit detection, but the crystal is still a thing. the cry and you lost your ball. Yeah. Glover's always just screaming out when he loses. Like, ah! It's his lifeline, basically. Without the ball, he is no more. Technically, his mission is to get these things back to where they were in the castle. So, oh god. <laughs> they multiply. <laughs> You're not supposed to multiply. This is so dumb. <laughs> what, what is this? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did they multiply? <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Don't understand. Oh. Now it's important to actually get a high score in this game if you want more lives, because uh, I can't remember how many points. I think it's like every 10k? It's hard to remember exactly. Every X number of points, you do get an extra life, so you do want to try to get more points. I think it is 10k. Now convicts catch it on the screen place for fun. Yeah, same energy, I don't blame you. I know who would like to do that. Not me though. Too much work. Get up here, that'd be great. There we go. You can't really get the ball up here, so I don't care about the multiplier. Okay, maybe it wasn't 10k? Maybe it was just 1k. Was it 50k? It actually might be 50k. If I get another life at 40... Wait, 50k. 5k! Why am I saying 50k? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of points. Yeah, this switch doesn't matter. It's to teach you that... You have to hit a switch to lower the water. Then you can take your ball in there to hit a switch, but at the same time, if you use a heavy one, like the marble or the bowling ball, it does not matter. I don't think I need that potion. If I have my skills, probably don't. Then I can just do this. That's the second time! Is it every time I collect all the garrups on a level, I'm gonna hear Glover die? <laughs> so why? <laughs> That's a bug. Whoopee! Yeah, don't you need the potion? The potion here would make Glover big, make him stronger than the push the wall over, or you could just jump around the hole. That works too. Speed run strat. That's just gonna bug me. That's gonna just bug me. This is why. Why can they multiply? Does anyone have any experience with Glover in chat? Because obviously I've been saying my history, so yes, I have that. I have the history. But I don't know about the rest of you guys. Matt, you said you've seen my playthrough. I don't know if you've played any version of this game yourself, not still sure. To be fair, nowadays if you do, I just get this version just because it's easier to get a hold of. You can get a used cart of Glover on N64 for pretty cheap still, but might just be better to get the PC version. I don't think I can get up here. Yeah, I gotta drop down, but it's just life, it doesn't matter. play for a while, but you only watch me play. Okay, yeah. I don't know if you have it then, that's the case. If you're saying you wanted to play, but haven't. 
This game, I don't know if it's still on sale, but it launched at a discount on Steam. Instead of the normal $20 it was gonna be, it launched for like, I think it's like a 20% discount. So you save three bucks. It's like $17 step 20. Okay, why? Hang on, my Xbox One just turned on. I don't, it's, it, I don't understand why it just does this. I'm not playing Xbox. I don't understand why it does that. I'm like the only person in the world who I keep on seeing that experience this problem when their Xbox just turns on and has no reason to. All those things are turned off for that feature. Actually, I'm gonna checkpoint this because it's a long walk back. Oh, you don't have the game, Matt. Yeah, I'll just recommend getting the PC version then, just so you can get both N64 and PS1 at that point. Or quote unquote N64. The PC build of N64. I don't know what this version is, it's a mystery. Got a ghost connects. I don't even own a connects, so that's even more concerning. Never played it before for some reason. I remember the evil laugh. We were talking about memory, remember the Shadow Temple. No, only on okay. You might have rented it if that's the case, Karen. If you didn't, then yeah, good question to how you would have remember that as a kid. Unless you've seen someone play it, you just don't remember. It's weird how we have memories like that of games. Like, we don't remember where it came from, but remember it vividly. Because I had that for years with this game. I rented once or twice on N64 about this chameleon that can use his tongue to like platform around and I'm like I have no idea what this is but I vividly remember these levels and then I found out like a couple years ago oh it's chameleon twist so I got it played it again it's like yep this is the game now there's another one I have with that same feeling there is a game I'm remembering that like you can explode things with vehicles and by doing so, you get points, and you would, like, go under bridges and such, like, go through them, you have time limits and such, and I was thinking that's Blast Core, but it graphically doesn't look like what I was thinking of, so I don't know if it's Blast Core I'm thinking. Could be. I'm thinking it probably just is. I love the sound this ball makes in this version, it just sounds like a poop. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying, Matt. I think it might be Blast Core, but it's hard to say. Because I've seen the footage, and it doesn't remind me of the same thing I'm seeing. It's weird. I was wanting to see if I remember how to do that. It's very precise, but you can jump around. If you do that, it's just a speedrunning trick, because uh, you're not 100% in the level. There's another speedrun trick you can do here, but I don't think I can on normal mode. If I remember correctly, the thing I'm thinking of, I need to play on easy for that fast get off and all, uh, off and on ball strat for the speed boost. Oh, I do know another speedrun strat, though. This also works. What was that sound? That was weird. Don't know why I made that sound effect. I swear, this is based off more of like the PC release from back in the day of Glover, but... I don't remember the PC version sounding that different. I never played it, so I wouldn't know. They never ran it as a kid. Yeah, I wonder how you would have, like, got the association of the laugh. It's like, maybe you've seen someone play it or something. Or it's just, like, remembering things you've seen over the years. Because this game, again, has shared around a lot now with things like YouTube. But, again, it's like, it's weird. We get these associations for things in our head of things. And you can't really say where they came from or sometimes even what the thing was called. You have the vivid memory of a thing, but just not the recollection of what it is. want to use the bowling ball in this like it's mainly just to destroy walls but it's the worst ball to use in a lot of situations it's way too slow and it's so heavy you can't really throw it oh, 
parts of you. Yeah, not even pointing to this one, so I'm gonna move on. I know I'm probably not the only one who's ever played this game and had a fear when you transform your ball and start having it bounce a little bit as a crystal. Even that short amount of bounce, I feared it would just break, because this thing is super fragile. Oh man, <laughs> let Glover go. Go, 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 go. I don't remember being that fast on the crystal. <laughs> I don't have the speed potion anymore, but this reminds me of the speed potion. <laughs> Dude, I'm accidentally triggering the zoom out thing like half the time because I'm just trying to move the stick left and right for the camera, but it keeps on triggering the zoom because it's down. That's very sensitive. I don't think there's anything over here where I got check. Yeah, nothing. Camera's stuck, so I can't really fix it. Okay, that texture looks weird. I think that's how it's supposed to look normally. It just looks a little different to me. Just with this version. Alright, now I get the sticky fingers. Can't use the ball in this form. I could just walk around. It allows me to walk on walls and ceilings, so I kind of need it for these last couple garabs. This is also inverted, too. Kind of. It feels like the controls are really weird. Like, every direction is off. So maybe use the C stick or C stick at C buttons or control stick for this. I think there's a way to cancel these potions. Yeah, it's just the ground pound button. I gotta get out of there, because... Why? It's like every time you're 100%, he dies! Why? Sure. I just remember I can't stick around for too long there because I will actually get skewered. I think spikes appear. Now this is just better that warp back. Why can't I? It's probably because I'm in the water, but I couldn't get off the ball. Excuse me, fish. I'm lining up with that. That I got. Oh, control my Xbox One with my voice. Thanks, Google Assistant. I just want to scream at it to say turn off because it turns on at random. Oh, my phone's doing that. That's true. What about connects to Google Assistant? Hey, right, in the mouth of the giant fish. Am I bouncing around in here? Because what is this grinding sound? Kind of funny, I got an achievement for the first level. Yet, I haven't got anything yet outside of that. Atlantis Complete and Atlantis Clear is so different. Atlantis Complete, finding 100 Garabs in Atlantis. That's not complete when you think about it. Atlantis Clear is being the whole world. So these achievements make no sense. Half of these sound effects are just missing now. <laughs> you got one lightning sound, the rest is bye bye. It doesn't even laugh. Why? Where did the missing laugh go? He had it earlier. This is where bowling ball is useful.
Come on, floating fish. All he has to do now is try to attack me, and I attack him back. That's it. This screen really flashes when you do this effect for the ball. A little distracting, because that's not as pronounced in N64. So can I, like, go? Oh, and he clips through the platform. Of course he does. All right, bonus level open. Might as well. We're right here. Might as well do the bonus game. What's Mr. Tip say? I think he says, get all Garibs in all worlds to get this. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what I said. Now, if I remember, this is the Glover uh, Frogger thing, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to remember the basic controls. Because it's weird. Like, A is a big hop and B is a short hop. And it's very finicky. What is the tongue button? I failed. If you, like, go in, somehow that counts as clear. <laughs> I forgot you just drown yourself. Like, ah, oh, land is bonus clear. That's fine. Like, I got an achievement just for killing myself. <laughs> It's like, that ain't right. <laughs> I want 100% this, which means getting these stupid cards. I gotta find out what the tongue button is again, because that is important. There you go. See, so you can grab the cards. That's another reason why it was important to find the tongue button, because you can eat butterflies and get lives. Obviously, you want more lives, do that. I'm gonna drown, yep. I think there is a purpose to getting all these in some fashion. I can't remember, it's been years. I think it like slightly changes the credits, like the ending scene, I think. Again, it's been years, I can't remember. If not, I'm just doing this for nothing. Wow, <laughs> nice. The problem is there's no restart. If you do that, you're just done. I remember when I tried to record this a few years back, that this was the problem part of Glover. Trying to do the bonus levels correctly, because they're finicky compared to the rest of the game. That was a little too close. Oh. I remember like the strat for this one. You want a little more of like an arc to your jump, so go diagonal. Kind of helps with the correction issues with this frogger-like thing. You give me more than enough time for this too. It's just the platforms are a problem. Frogger, come on! Watch your frogger, please. I'm gonna make this. I might not. Nope. I didn't have another lily pad. Gonna make it. I can't remember which one was the hardest. This might be one of the hardest just because of the weirder controls. The other ones aren't as weird. Although I do remember the next one being like a shooter. Which is weird. How's the tongue? You're going around the world, not what I want. At least I get plenty of extra lives from doing this, because they're plentiful here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. 
doesn't want to fail here. I'll wait for another one. To be safer. I'll grab this with my tongue. Can't grab the others. My tongue doesn't reach. It's not long enough. It gets longer <laughs> the closer I am to our carob, which... That's just a weird sentence to say, but that's true! I don't think I should take those. I'm gonna just wait. I have more than enough time for this. I'm really trying to watch my wording with this one because the, the innuendos write themselves and I'm trying not to walk myself in a corner. Very easy to do. Especially if you guys know me at this point. Barely had enough lily pad space for that. Like, seriously. My tongue reached that? Yep, okay. I like how the music just randomly looped. There's one more here and I need it. There's five more, and I think they're on the left. Oh, there's the ending. I just go over there and I win. Can't reach those. Serious? I had all 25 freaking coins! Ah, I'm almost calling them coins. Cards! <laughs> ah, that's why I don't remember liking this one. <laughs> because it's so strict. The last set only had me two lily pads. I remember this one taking me like at least half an hour on a recording, and now it's starting to come back to me. That's rough, man. <laughs> you literally 100% in the game's like, oh, lol, no, you didn't. There's no point in doing this. You actually don't get anything for them. But I want to do them because I'm stupid, apparently. behind me before the one in front of me. <laughs> Why? Tongue reached too far. <laughs> sure. <laughs> wow, you're like here. It's a quad 25 minute chase. I mean, there's been some shady stuff about uh, Pico, so you're probably not too far off the joke. that dragonfly. Tongue wasn't long enough. At this point, I got more than enough lives just leaving the first world because of this book, this game. I got close to 10 already. Just in this. He was on the box and he slid right off. I forgot how bad this one is. I really did. This is awful. It's absolute awful. I still don't understand why he grabs the one behind him before the one in front of him. Okay, that was just a mistake. And the problem is, like, there's no way out of the water. It gives you false hope when you get in there, because you can control yourself for a bit, and then... you can't after a while, because it just fades to black. So it's like, you could work your way out, but we choose not to. It's weird. It is a weird thing in this.
I thought for a second I missed that. Would have been mad. Dude, tongue it, tongue it! <laughs> Why? Why did my tongue go backwards and not forwards? <laughs> I don't understand the tongue physics, man. I mean, seriously. It should have went forward. All I know is, is if I continue playing this game, I'm gonna scream out tongue it, and people are gonna wander around me. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing I don't really live close to neighbors. Far enough away they don't hear my screams. For some reason, I thought that come back. I don't know why. We may be here for a little bit longer than I anticipate. That's unfortunate because of the nature of this weird bonus game. I actually made that? How the heck did I make that? Glove, come on. I almost fell off because of that. The clutch save, I'll give me that. Okay, almost had that happen again. That would have been great. Just gonna wait this one out because I gotta ride these anyways. Can't really make that. Oh boy. Oh, I almost screwed that up horribly. I just gotta wait for me to get closer to these cards, because they're, they're off camera. I'm just gonna let the platforms go to them and just collect it with the tongue. It just looks so weird when I do this. I swear. Because it just doesn't, you can see the tongue clip through like the bottom of his mouth. Oh, I just realized this box getting further away from the log. That I can't make that jump anymore. Why is it going further away from the log? <laughs> nope. I do all that just to kill myself? Really? <laughs> oh, it's all coming back. Frustration is all here. That's why everyone loves Glover and hates it, too. <laughs> now I know about the stupid box thing. What's with that momentum? I don't think I'm just trying to bum rush it. That's fine. But the gaps come to me. Remember that game I talked about with the tongue and you could platform, grab anything? I was have to talk about Glover. The bait. Like it hits like that same comparison as Community Twist, except now I'm a frog. Which I do believe is an actual power up in this game. Like you can actually transform into a frog. I think you can do at least enemies. Coming back, just let it go. I hate that part. I hate that part so much. There's really not much you can do if you don't get the timing right. Oh yeah, that here. Speaking of things I hate, can we talk about that whole Sonic delisting issue right now? I don't like it. 
I never like, I understand why companies do it. It's a money thing, because then they don't have to pay for the other versions to be up anymore. But it's like, God, I hate this. Because that's anti-consumer when people take away, okay, really? When people take away products for random reasons, like I, I'm re-releasing the games in new collection. So now as a company, we get rid of those older versions. Like why? That makes no sense. I never like it when that happens, no matter who the company is. So, in my opinion, this is the wrong call for Sega. This was a bad move. Not making them look good, but the pre-order confusion, and then this on top fits, making Sonic Origins look like a bad port. It flat out is. Like, people are already getting up in arms about their weird decisions with this to a point where some people are actually starting to boycott it. Like, people are getting that angry. I don't know why Sega's doing this, really. Like, they are kind of gaslighting themselves with certain decisions. Like, they're trying to clean it up a bit, but also their wording's not great either. I don't know. In terms of what this actually means, go get Sonic 1, 2, 3, Knuckles, and then CD if you want the standalones. If you don't care, then just get it on Origins when it comes out, but... I forgot you can jump through those. I hate that too. If you want to mod... The original Genesis games on PC, you're gonna need those ROM files, so you're gonna need to actually own them on Steam. So go get them before they disappear, because if you want to play any ROM hacks through an official emulator, the Steam ports are the way to do it. I highly recommend it for that reason. And a lot of people are saying, like, Sonic Air is a big one for Sonic 3, so I definitely just say you need it, go get it now, they're only a few bucks. Just get them before, the two, before it's too late. Hey, thanks for the post, Marley. Chad, how you doing? Appreciate it. Glove! Times like this, I wish I could turn back into a glove and not a frog. Seen your host, so I'm gonna say shout outs to my friend Marley here, Sax Dude. It's the one that actually gifted me a copy of this game we're playing now, so I probably wouldn't be playing if I didn't get the copy you gifted. So thanks, bud. Appreciate it. You gifted me a question mark. <laughs> be fair, that's what a lot of people say about it. A lot of people are mixed on Glover. I just really enjoy it. This stage not included. Certain stages I will hate. Is any game though? No, 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 no. Do not want to fall. We're literally at the end of that section. I don't want to have to redo it all. I'm going to just wait here because I don't trust that. Ow? I don't know how that missed. Sure. I think, if anything, that's going to fail, so I'm going to just wait this one out and be safer. Sometimes it's better just to take the safe way out. Again, you, you don't need to do these bonus stages. They really don't even count for 100% stuff. Just, we unlock them, we might as well. Barely made that. Like, you barely have enough gap for that. You really do. The dragonfly, please. Come here. Yeah, I wasn't gonna take a risk with that. There's no reason to send over my tongue when... Oh, not send on my tongue. Send on my body when my tongue can reach. I'm right, like flustered. You can tell. We're nearing the end, so if I don't screw up, we could make it this time. I just don't want to put foot in my mouth. You gotta be very careful because of the overshooting you can do with the frog jump. It's very easy to overshoot a jump.
And unfortunately, I cannot make that. It's impossible. So I gotta wait for more lily pads just to get over to where I'm going. Sure! Don't know how the tongue missed it. What's going on with my tongue? Come on, please. <laughs> it's like tongue physics. Please. Now, if I get over there to the right, then I can just ride down the rest of this. Why do I die in bonus levels? Why is that sound effect a thing? Okay. Whatever. I gotta wait this one out, unfortunately, because, uh... Yeah, that's the boundary up there, and there's no way back. I need to get to the center platform, because these lily pads... Yeah, I don't have enough gap. I could maybe make it back to the box! Uh, come on, come on, come on, oh my god! <laughs> no! Pain! <laughs> All I feel is pain! Uh, <laughs> come on! Why? <laughs> Lily had it too. The fact that you can actually do that is stupid. To me. I literally fell through the platforms because I was sliding off. It's like I, I, I couldn't move. I couldn't jump too big because I would have failed too. I think Sega's wording when it comes to like, going back to like, the port issue, like getting all their other versions delisted, like, I, I just think this is a weird thing, because Sega, they put out a press statement about it today, and it made it sound like they're doing us a favor keeping certain versions up, like the the classics versions, like on Switch, and then the Sonic 2 version that's on NSO, it's like, we're gonna keep those! Like, you're welcome! It's like, that's not a favor, you delisten the rest, that didn't sound any better. <laughs> Their wording was really weird. I don't know. Certain things about this Origins delisting shenanigan thing right now is getting very confusing to me. Also, hey Ethan, how you doing? But yeah, I agree, Matt. Like, Sonic 3 and Knuckles on 360, that's the only way you're gonna get that on Xbox. Or at least in that form. Because Sonic Origins is coming on Xbox platforms, so you at least have a version of the game there. It's just not the version that certain people would probably want, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, original emulation. Because, like, let, let's be real, the backbone versions of the Sonic games, they're not good. But they're still versions of games that people want to play. That makes sense. I'm just gonna wait here a second. Oh. Gotta wait a little bit longer for a new set of lily pads. I might be able to reach that with my tongue. I might. I don't know. But if I can get on the. No, not anymore. If I could have gotten that log, I could have reached out with my tongue, but not anymore. I'll probably do this. Okay, I gotta ride this back then. I have no choice but to play this level again because why do they do that to you? They don't give you enough time on the lily pads! Give me more than two, please! There's no time! We should got the second copy, Room Factory 5. Nice, I can tell that's the game you like, you get multiple copies. I know that feel. Why does my tongue go 360? I don't like that. I'll wait for that second set of lily pads. There's no way I'm getting back on that one. You better just wait. I can't make that. I gotta. 
Why? Just why? <laughs> I gotta rename this the gl just Frogger with a side of Glover, because <laughs> that's all we're doing now. I think we've been here for half an hour. I love when something gets lost in the mail and we order a new one, they'll find your way. That happened to you again, Matt, because that. <laughs> I haven't seen that happen for a while, if that's true for you. Either I can- I know that was a thing with you, some of the stuff you said. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, crap. I couldn't reach that with the tongue, so you're sure, drown. Yeah, I know, dude, I'm just wondering if that happened to Matt for a second. I was like, wait a minute, Matt, again? What game? Which one now? Any more 3DS titles? But I get it. No, I know what you guys are saying now. If I don't mash right away, I can't make that sequence. I'm just going up here real quick because I did miss a ping, a uh, piece of thing here. Let's say do you list the previous single hope in the dry up sales and relisted the bomb line? Get her too bad. Maybe Kira? I know for a fact they're delisting the origin like the, the games that are in Origins just because of that is to push sales for the new one at that point. Like you can't buy it anywhere else, so make it so you have to buy this version if you want these games. Like that is a thing companies have done multiple times, but it never goes over well with fans, so them relisting it would be damage control, flat out. I should just wait when I get to that. I gotta go slower here. Because I think speedrunning this is a bad move. I gotta go slower and I might be able to get better lily pad cycles, which means I should be able to get through this a little bit better in theory. So keep the camera pulled out so I can see what I'm doing. So here, I'm not gonna jump on those lily pads right now. I'm just gonna wait this out. Why am I trying to tongue that and not the dragonfly down below? I kinda wanted the dragonfly for the life. Or whatever, I guess I don't get the life. I'm gonna go over here before I tongue the one behind me again. Cause I want the one in front of me. Give me that life, thank you. This or River of Death or Mario Sunshine? Which is worse? This. Cause River of Death you can cheese in a lot of areas and once you get the hand of controls you can make it consistent. Getting there is the problem part, but the actual level I don't think is really that bad. I think Pachinko's way worse. But this, in comparison, like, gameplay-wise, is, in my opinion, worse. Just because of how finicky the controls can be in this. For a frog that's a glove. It's just, I don't know, that's weird. You have some weird momentum. And why you have that with the lily pads in that level? In Sunshine? I don't know, in some ways it's not as bad to me. Probably because I've also played it a lot more. But nowadays, if I gotta get to that level, I'm just clipping out of bounds with a Yoshi. I'm not playing it as they intend, because god, riding over almost five minutes just to get to that level sucks. And it's not needed. It really didn't need to be that long bro, of a wait time. I should've just had one boat go from one side to another and not like five. That's why it was so long. Well, actually, not f it's like close to that. It's like four boats. And you have to ride between. I wish I can reach those other two from here, but it's too far away. Let me see, what are these lily pads? If it's a set of three, I'll go. If it's two, I'll wait. If it's three, I can go. 
wish I could make it back, but that's just impossible. I'll wait here for more death. I why? I don't know why you have a death. That does not happen in the N64 one! Why do you die when you collect things? Like, that sound makes no sense. I don't understand it. Okay, now I just gotta wait for a set of lily pads to get to these logs over here, and that's it. Then I can just ride the uh, rest of this. I think you could actually go in the water and then like work your way around, but I do not want to take that risk because we've died too many times here. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna center myself more because I don't trust this frog glove. I just don't. So we're gonna sit here. All right, GG's, we got it. Oh, this level sucks. That was like half an hour at least, maybe more. I forgot how bad this frog level is. It's just so bad, the controls. Because the, the momentum thing, man. The momentum with the frog is like the hardest part to work with. What? Now I'm just mad. He literally fell into the water when he was on the platform. You have to get dead center. <laughs> ah. I don't care if I peaked ever so slightly with that. <laughs> that made me mad. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> I forgot how bad the ending of this is. Because of that garbage. I forgot. Oh, yep, this is why this one took forever to record like 10 years ago. Oh, I remember. <laughs> yeah, post the rages and chat. It's all good. That's me right now. Your mad's out, your rages. Your sads. All of them. <laughs> They're all accurate. I'm not gonna make that jump. Yep, that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to wait until I'm dead center. Dead center, not like off by a hair. No, literally right in the front. If I go any earlier, it will count as hitting an invisible wall of all things, and then I just lose. That's so dumb, man, that's so dumb. Yeah, I mean, you left the first world. Yeah, that's making me real mad. <laughs> Dude, what's with the, like, I hit the up thing and he doesn't turn? I, I gotta, I guess, go slower. <laughs> Again. There's a frog game played going up on the original Xbox called Zapper, Electric Cricket or something like that. I don't know if I've heard of it. There's been so many, like, different adaptations of Glover, I would, I okay. would yeah, the glove really got around. All one game. There's been so many adaptations of Frogger, I can see that. Although, I guess going on that weird one, there actually was supposed to be a sequel for this game. But it got cancelled for the stupidest of reasons. Like, apparently, what happened is that they ordered too many carts for the game. I can't remember the exact number. I think it was like they were supposed to get 30,000 carts and someone put an extra zero in the order, so they ordered 300k and that bankrupt them. Like they just couldn't do it anymore. They couldn't they could not support the rest of the development because they were out of funds, so they just had to pull the plug. Cuz Glover 2 was a decent amount done when that mistake happened, so they just had to scrap it because they were just out of funds. It was one of the dumbest reasons why a game ever got canceled. They ran out of money because they bought too many cartridges. Oops. Jimmy ordered too many N64 carts again. Now we're bankrupt. You can intently play a prototype of Glover 2 because it did leak, and apparently in this version, there is some Glover 2 data in it for some reason. I don't know why. But apparently, there is a ROM in here of Glover 2 for the N64, and in the game files, it's actually a different ROM than the one that was floating around a couple years ago. So it's apparently a whole different version of the game, like a newer build. So, with this version releasing, we got some more Glover 2 stuff, which is weird to see, if you want to be honest. 
I wasn't expecting to see more. Pico said they're trying to finish games that were canceled with licenses they bought out, and Glover 2 could be one of those games. I guess we'll have to see. If they do eventually make a Glover 2, because now they own the IP, I'd be interested to see how it plays, especially compared to what it was supposed to be. Didn't like that jump. That was a little stupid to do, but I barely made it. Can I make that with two? I try, because I I gotta go. I want to go over there so bad, but we can't yet because we need to beat the level. Like we need to beat this with all the gear ups. Compulsion says so. What? Why'd it go to the moon? <laughs> this frog's gonna be the death of me. It's gonna be the death of me. <laughs> Cries internally. I don't understand. I, I hit the side of Lily Pad and I went straight up. I could have made that back. I could have made it back. But the cloth frog said no. I just want to get the world too. We'll get there next week. How about that? Now you see behind the scenes of like how this kind of thing would work in a recording sense. It's like, yeah, this is as long as I did years ago when I did this for my channel. I don't know if I would ever redo this game for the channel. Maybe. Because that was in a different time period. Like, there was a lot that's changed. Both in terms of hardware and in terms of personality. So things would look and sound better. Definitely have better direction if I redid this as a playthrough. I've been thinking of that for a lot of older stuff I've done. Like, how would I redo it? Certain games such like play a new version or like a complete different release, like a remake of some kind. And other games, like I don't know, they never got a re-release. Uh, I guess we could just do it again. Just try to make it different compared to the original, because I don't like the idea of redoing all your old stuff as a content creator, because then it's like, why did you do it to begin with? You were just gonna like, retcon it all a couple years later. It just doesn't feel like the right idea. So it's one of those I would just try to make different if it was a thing I would do. Because I've already done that with some games. Like Majora's Mask from last year was a big one because of the hybrid playthrough idea. There was differences now. That made sense. A game like this has no differences <laughs> at all. This is literally just the same game we played years ago, except more pain. It's more pain. Now oh, white screen. Makes jump from platform, doesn't move at all, to line himself up, jumps back, doesn't make the exact same jump. How? H how? <laughs> I don't understand. I, I didn't move. The gap didn't change. It's just... Frog didn't make it. And we still have like five other bonus levels, which aren't much better. <laughs> hey, why did I commit myself to this again? Oh, 
Okay, I don't know why it has to stay there, but that's fine. You know what? We'll just wait. Be patient. Dark Souls of Final Boss. <laughs> this is my little... The Dark Souls of Frogger. <laughs> Almost I overshot that, which would have been very much possible. You know, I'm just gonna wait for a lily pad because I don't trust that gap. I just don't. I really don't trust this game when it comes to that stupid gap situation. How does that count for lily pads? Oh, thank God. No, it did! It counted for two! <laughs> Why'd it count for two? Oh my God, I hate this level so much. <laughs> I hate this level so much. Why did that count as two of them? I landed like the perfect pixel in between the two, which counted as landing on both lily pads at the same time, which caused them to sink. The longer you're on a pad, the less time you have. I love how you just get in the water, you jump out of the water, and it still voids you out because it just counts as you already die. It's like, hey, he made it. I don't care. He's dead. He's dead. Oh my god. I, I hate this. I hate this. I'm just gonna wait on this one. I'm not rushing on again. Safe. Better safe than sorry. out. How can I not reach you? Please come here. I want to eat the dragonfly. Thank you. If I time this right, I can make this whole thing with the ray. Okay, in point. soul compared to Dark Souls just an R enough. <laughs> ah, it's a Crash Bandicoot. Boxes are butter. Why? I literally slid off there like it was coated in a layer of butter. We have 62 lives. We entered this thing with like 20. We literally got like 40 plus lives just from doing this because you don't lose them, you die. It's just you lose your sanity. I, I understand, man. To crash Bandicoot stage of Glover. Yep, there you go. Did it. We found we found the real successor.
don't understand the tongue physics time. It's like sometimes you go straight ahead with it, and sometimes it does a 360 around you because of the weird gear placement. I believe I actually made that cycle. That didn't look like it would work. I'm not kidding. Barely made that. Okay, made it. All I gotta do now is just wait this one out, get some lily pads, and go to the right. Oh, here, Glover die again, because everyone loves that. Get me out of this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That level can go die in my fires. Fire all make out in the back. Where I put the dreaded bonus level. Get me out of the Holanus! I think you can't an achievement and I don't know why. <laughs> it should, with all that hard work. It really should. I forgot we had like a boss fight an hour ago. <laughs> it's been that long. That's only bonus level one. Thanks for the fart. All right, I think we have a choice right now, technically. We can go to Atlantis, or we can go to the Pirates of the Caribbean. We're gonna go over here to the carnival. The clowns. I always like the song here for some reason. It's very upbeat. <laughs> Both water based. Hey, you're not wrong, actually. There is a decent amount of water in the carnival stage. Now we get back to the fun stuff. Honestly, that bonus level really drains you. It really does. I think this is the tip that tells you, hey, use crystal for a multiplier, but don't be stupid and drop it, because you die. Something like that. I can't tell you how long it took me as a kid to figure out you could do that, because you never use the cartwheel. That's like the one time in the game they ever expect you to use it, and you never do that again. The one time. It's called fun defense when you have to that. Now that's a statement. I, I'm on the side of here. It really does depend on who you ask on that one. I think it's fun. I really enjoy it, but I also grew up with a Glover. It's very janky. It is a very janky game, so your miles may vary. I think it's an underrated gem on the system because it gets a lot more hate, in my opinion, than it deserves. It has issues. Don't get me wrong. This game does have issues. But I think some people kind of blow it out of proportion and say it's a terrible game, 3 out of 10 or something. Like, eh, I wouldn't go that far. Maybe 6 out of 10. But not, not like a 3.
That should be enough height. Yeah, there you go. Ah, what? Love. Thank you. Guess hitting the jump button means you don't climb up. I forgot that detail. I need the ball. Wish I had Glover and trashed it. I mean, yeah, he's more critical when it comes to a lot of these kind of games, and I don't blame him, because he, he looks at it on a bigger scale, and this game's not worth completing. I will say that, so... On that front, I understand entirely why he said, eh, nah. Not great. It's like, eh, yeah, kind of it's not, went on a completionist standpoint. But even then, yeah, this game's very janky. So it's a Monash May Vary situation, I feel. But what version did he play? Because according to you, Kira, he played PC. I didn't see his video yet, but I seen it was in 4x3, and it looked like the N64 one to me. They may just play the original. At least to what I can see. Wait, how do you... How do you swap the... Oh yeah, I forgot you did the cheat thing with the C buttons. I didn't even change the C button graphic! But how do you change the checkpoint on this? It's supposed to be able to change to different checkpoints. But it's not letting me. I thought it was just D-pad in the original. Okay, well that counts as C up. That's good to know. How do you change the stinking checkpoint? I'm not allowed to change checkpoints. That's like the best part about this. You warp to different checkpoints, save you a whole bunch of time. Why? Hey, Lean Ducks, how you doing? Yeah, I'm finding that one out the hard way for some weird reason. I, I can pull up debug, but I can't change a checkpoint? That's a weird oversight, and I don't understand how. I, I'm trying to think how they would have screwed that up in terms of mapping, because I thought that was just moving around on a menu with a D-pad or a stick, but I guess not. That ball needs to go back over there. I'm going to have to do this the hard way. Don't understand that. That's weird. That is a weird thing, but to be fair, weird decisions were made with this port. God, why has, like, very mixed reviews. Half of them were bashing the company, and the other half are just bashing the port. <laughs> it's like... I get the company one. People just don't like Pico. For a lot of good reasons, from what I can tell, though. From what I read up, it eh, a little bit of a shadier game company. Yeah, I tried that, too. LR and, like, both bumpers and triggers, and, like, no. It was just as easy in the original as just moving the stick. I could crystal here, but I would probably lose it. Which I kind of want to confirm that checkpoint thing, which I could, because I'm on N64. Yeah, they screwed it up. This is what you can do in N64. Just move the stick, and you choose a different checkpoint. Here, if the game could get rehooked, I don't know why. Sometimes that's a weird heck of an OBS. Here, does not work. They screwed it up somehow, and I don't understand that. I've never seen that issue with Glover. That has to be a PC-specific bug, like via the PC release from back in the day. That just doesn't make any sense otherwise. So that's good to know. I can't abuse checkpoints like you normally can, which really sucks. Because that's a huge, huge help. Okay, nice bait and switch. I forgot it also goes down to the right first. Worse games than Glover, from what you've seen. Yeah, there are worse games than this. That's, that is definitely for sure. I think this game gets a lot of unnecessary hate just because of what it is. It is weird, don't get me wrong on that one, but it's not terrible like most people say. I've, I've actually played worse.
a weird lag my jump for some reason. There we go. Now I can hit the switch and continue on. The rest of my gear are like near the end. Because they put them all in like one specific section here. Like half of your gear you get just from like a... I don't remember what this is. I think it's a pachinko table? He's ready for some luck. Actually, did that a little too much. That there. I was gonna say, is it gonna go through or what? Wait, why? 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 Why does the magnet hurt? I don't remember that. It's so dumb. Ah, uh, gay. Good to know. Magnets are love's worst enemy. Oh, the fell with spikes. You got me there. Floor anyways. Alright. <laughs> I feel like I got cheated on that one. <laughs> yeah. The floor just disappeared in this section. Why is there a gap? That is... <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be hard mode now. <laughs> It's a good thing we have 68 lives because my ball is actually going to fall down multiple times now. Can't help. Might as well follow it. I don't know where the floor went. It was there a moment ago. <laughs> now it's not there. If anything, I should try to go for the right first and then get the other one to the right later. Like, just get the fourth one before the third, if that makes any sense. Whee! How did that not stay on the button? Please stay on the button. Thank you. Glove, are you okay? Apparently not. All I have to do is move and then jumps restored. Why? This version has very weird controls. Did it make that? No, okay. I made it to the wrong one. It needs to go a little more to the left when it goes down to the final section. I don't understand why that has a hitbox. I really don't. That I don't remember having a hitbox. If it did, then I just never hit it, I guess. But that's so weird. Why would a man have a hitbox? I'm not moving, by the way. Control stick neutral. Alright, we got it. At least now we're done with that, because you have to burn lives on that one. There's just no other way around that, because of the random floor disappearing. You just kind of have to deal with it. Kind of stupid. Don't know why the floor's gone. That's definitely an emulation bug at that point. Or if not, it's just definitely more of a weird, like, side effect of the porting. Because that's not even the case. That is not the case with the original. I can tell you for a fact. We'll look at the original's version after this, but it's not like that.
Why is the camera getting more zoomed in? I'm zooming it out, and it's like getting closer to the glove. There you go. It's like it was zooming itself back in after I zoomed it out. I don't know why. Weird. Hey, Smoothie Buns, how you doing? I don't remember how exactly you do that because you, you you can't jump up there and fall you just die you gotta jump up a little bit and then i gotta get the ball okay it's a little weird like the corner Oh, I remember now. No, it's not that. It's not that. I have to go over here and get the big power. Sounds weird. That? Alright. That feels a little different. These buttons feel a little different. Wait. Okay, you yeah, have to grind bound again. That just feels weird to me. I don't know why. Alright, there are my garrups. That should be the rest of them at this point. Yeah, that's all of them. Here comes the death! Why do I die? I don't know why that sound effect happened. It just does. Oh, again, go get food. Alright, well, enjoy your dinner, Ethan. Hopefully see you back here in a little bit. Can I get the crown, please? There you go. Give me big power. Oh! That was just for the life thing. Okay. Because I think this is just going to give me a life. I thought it was actually needed to beat the level. I completely forgot about that. It's like, yeah, it's been almost 10 years. Let's get out of here. Now to space. Now I want to see something like, again, with that one thing we've been dealing with. I'm going to need to swap us over. Because again, they, they screwed up here. They screwed up with this version. Because there's there's a okay, I that was a bad stick. I definitely remember Floor being in the ending. For the whole Plachinko thing. And also that magnet, I don't remember hurting you. We'll find out about both right now. Oh. My stick just a little screwed up. Hang on, I can fix that. This this controller is on extension, so I can just unplug and plug it in. Yep, we're good now. Good old analog controllers when they had that issue. If the stick's slightly off-centered, oh boy, it screws up when you plug in. I think the biggest thing that's bumming me with this PC port is that now you can't select the checkpoint. That's stupid, man. How'd they screw that up? How? Like, it works fine in N64 when you just flip back and forth on the stick. So they map the stick correctly in PC. It should just work. I, I, on technical level, I don't know how that broke. I really don't. I, I do hope they do update this port. They they might. They already fixed the Plague Lover, Plague Glover issue in the beginning. So they already fixed some wording thing in the launching. Maybe they'll fix more. We'll have to see. So I don't even need to play this level just to do the one thing we want to see. We can luckily just like zoom to the ending. Don't miss the slowdown, I will give it that. Alright, so we literally just go to the end. We don't need to do anything else. The checkpoint just makes it so we don't come back. Yeah, look at that. Look at the floor. Look at the floor. It actually exists. Is... Wait a minute. 
Oh, I think I see what happened. How? Why? These platforms. They're closer in the N64 version. In the PC version, the wood was a little further back. By doing that, they made a gap. And yeah, the Manda didn't hurt you. I was right. How did they screw this up? I don't understand that. That's one of the weirdest things I think I've seen yet. They made a gap on the floor by just moving the textures ever so slightly, well not the textures, the, the platform itself ever so slightly back. I don't know why they did. That makes no sense, because yeah, you see, we get the ball through, we get the gap if we want. There's no hole in the floor. Why is there a hole in the floor? That wasn't there before. I why? Why? <laughs> All right, just tally up my score so we can get a move on. I don't understand what's going on. Like there, there are weird, like technical design choices on this. I don't know how broke. I just don't. There has to be something with the conversion. There just has to be something with its conversion that got a little messy. Why decided? Yeah, you know what? Be smart, crystal, in the beginning, because the points aren't worth it. Not in that set. It's just better to bounce the ball. I don't know what you're talking about here. I don't know what. It, there was no, there's no nice lives. I mean, look, I can see we got a nice seventy. Got him. I wonder if this issue is gonna happen. I'm not gonna mention it, but there's an issue here with this. It happens in N64. Not that, oh God, my ball. <laughs> oh my God. That was not the issue, but that almost became an issue. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, good, it didn't happen. There's a tendency for this ball just to clip out of the roller coaster section and just fall. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do if it happens. If it falls because of weird collision, it's just gone. Game over, try again. Some things are better just to leave your ball behind for. That's one of them. This still just bugs me so much. I hate that. Why can't you select the checkpoint? Can I cancel this again? Okay. It's that button's a, a bumper. A trigger. I always mix these things up. I don't know why. Oh God, that hurts. You gotta destroy these T for a gear, if I'm not mistaken here. But you get underneath and just do this. Or get hurt. Yep, that makes sense. Do I need to be big glove for this? Well, that makes it easier, that's for sure. Okay, it's just touching this with your ball. I couldn't remember if it was a teleport, but just Glover or the ball as well. No, it's just this with the with glove. It's fine. That almost ended poorly. I meant for that to be the rubber ball, but <laughs> it was not the rubber ball. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's just take me back up. Yeah. I don't want to do just yet. Now, I don't want to hit that checkpoint up ahead because of this weird glitch. Like, I have to compensate now for this glitch. I'm going to call it that because this is something that shouldn't even exist. I got to hold off on that checkpoint until I know I got the garrups in the beginning sections. Because I won't be able to get back. Otherwise, I'll be locked out now. That's why ch checkpoint swapping was a really good thing. But then this version is somehow removing it. I swear by accident. Oh, crap. I hit the thing anyways. Why? It's like as soon as I ground pound, I just stop moving. And I don't know why. He is through the floor. Why are you through the stink of the floor, sir? Well, I tried. <laughs> I, I had a feeling I was going to fall. I was just like, all right, can we compensate by at least getting a garrop on the way down? I almost did. Nice. Using the, like, throw cancellation thing is a really good idea just to, like, didn't even do that. All right. It, it's a good way to just, like, get an idea of where you're going at that point. Just, like, Better correct yourself. I think this up ahead, so we should be okay. Continue on here. Alright, you can still do the quick swapping. It's just a little weirder in this version. Like, you gotta keep on hitting the button faster than you would on N64. Maybe a side effect because of the lag to no lag conversion here. Zen 64 had a bunch of lag in certain areas. I'm sorry, is there an. The helicopter goes silent? Like, what happened? And what's with the graphic? Oh, crap. I couldn't figure out what button was down. It has a down mode, but I only found the up button. <laughs> so that ended poorly. No, sir, that. Okay. This is why having this ability is important. How is it going up with the bowling ball? <laughs> Physics. Sir, can you please drop that? Please, I kind of need it. <laughs> There we go. What? Okay, Graphic just screwed up on him, I guess, because he ain't supposed to be here. I forgot how you get your ball out of this thing. There's a way to get it out. Oh, wait, oh no, I know. I screwed it up, though. All right, well, I have no way of leaving. This checkpoint doesn't work. You're supposed to push this guy into spikes, but there's no spikes here. All right, well, I guess it's a good idea to figure out how do I descend. I think it just, yeah, you just don't hold a button and you just send. I'm just napping. Checkpoint still doesn't work, by the way. So I have to just do this. Thank you. I was like, can I please die? <laughs> I just want to die. End my suffering. Well, that guy's punishing me if he gets stuck in the water. <laughs> he ain't coming out. Got it. Alright, that transforms him to frog. I don't care. Why can't I fly? There you go. I was like, can I please fly? Weird momentum. 
Got it. All right, good. We made it out. Come here, sir. I need you. This level I remember is so helpful for abusing the checkpoint system. Guess what we don't have? This is the level where I abused it a lot, so this is gonna suck not having the abuse. No, hey sir, no, sir, sir, <laughs> I kinda need you here. I can't collect garabs on this guy, at least not easily. Yeah, I'm like clipping through them, so it doesn't work. Good. Good. Your deeds are done. See ya. Don't need him anymore. Doop. Stay still. Thank you. It really doesn't look like it can go up that. Oh, no, 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 no. It really doesn't look like it can go up that, but you can. But then you go up and you drop your ball, so. Side effect. At least the switch stays hit when you die, so you don't have to do that again. You can just go. There we go. You gotta take it a little slow, otherwise you die. Um, I don't understand. It's a physics issue. Speaking of physics, here we go on the weird janky parts here. I think the boats in like Mario Sunshine are janky. These are pretty much its predecessor. Now I'm used to janky boats in video game platformers. Because of stuff like this. And then you have the ball momentum to deal with too, so you gotta really time your bounces. You need the ball to get over here, so I have to do this. It's funny, this game is not a hard platform where you take the ball out of the equation, but when you have the ball, oh, it becomes way harder. It adds a lot more of its difficulty. There we go. Okay. Get this a little slow. Because luckily I can just, like, hold up here and just slow it down. Okay, well, I missed that. Excuse me, did I just put my way up? I don't remember that. Okay, that was a glitch. Yeah, <laughs> I get stuck in the corner on the wall. I can just infinitely like, jump. That's a glitch. It's like he keeps on resurfacing out of the water. It's, it's not. It's not supposed to do that. I don't remember that being a glitch in N64, so add another tally to the weird glitches in PC. I, I'm i thinking this was based off more of the PC build now. Just more and more of what I'm seeing. Because the PC version, I don't know the nuances, but the one that released early days on the same time as N64 Glover, <sighs> didn't see much footage of it, because no one already talked about it, so it's hard to say what was really different in like certain areas. If I tell sound effect and graphics, yeah, you can see its differences more. One thing I miss from a lot of games is just a press button to center camera thing. Even the N64 games had this, so Glover not having it was a little weird. What? All right. <laughs> At least 
Does that glitch still exist? Floor? What's that? Eh. Who needs it? Who needs floor? Not me, that's for sure. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. That was just me missing the black one. That That's a legit death. That one I accept, but the other one I just clipped right through the stupid floor. That could happen in N64, so that is a thing. This platforming structure is just weird on physics. So I'm trying to stay dead center so it doesn't do that again. Go get a life, but the garrups are way more important. You actually do something. Lives don't. Like, if you game over and it's not very much of a penalty, I want to really be honest on that one. Become frog. And then squish frog. I don't think there's anything else here, so I might as well just, like, fire it. The eyes are still here. Now that's just cursed. Just floating eyeballs at that point. Why can't I get up this ramp? Come on. There we go. I just had to do a bounce. It's a weirder ramp. Guy's not disappearing and having a corpse left behind. We're really gonna throw me off which ones I've killed. I'll just see the corpse and think it's oh no, he's still alive. Why did this coloring change? happened. It's changing my ball. Wait, did it do this in N64? I don't remember this. I don't remember this. This just looks weird. The rest of my garrups are near the end. I'm going to check that out here in a minute on N64. We still have the game open on the system. Game open. It's just not PC. Got the game running. I can check. life, I think they'll be, yeah, above me. I might just be able to get it by doing a bounce. Oh, is this sticky hands? Yeah, it's sticky hands. I'm supposed to get it like this. They're not really worth it, in my opinion. I'll just leave them. I don't want to spend forever just trying to get two lives. I may lose lives getting them. Not worth it, in my opinion. Plus, they give you one right there near the end. So you just bounce over and you're fine. All right, I want to see that thing I'm talking about here. Excuse me real quick. Glove has got to die. Oh, I didn't mean to actually quit the game on my system. Hang on. We got to swap now. I pressed the wrong button. We got to swap over. I didn't mean to quit, but that's whatever. We'll just walk right back. It really helps to just have this pulled up and ready just because of all these differences I'm seeing. I I think this one's more like a texture emulation bug that we're seeing. Because again, I do not remember that platform getting changed by just changing the ball. I'm just gonna speed run this part real fast. Cause we're just wanting to get back through a certain bar with the ball. So I'm gonna go over here and hit this switch and then we'll just get to the platform. Be that easy. Cause you're supposed to go the long way around but if you can make clever 
jump with the ball, then you can skip this whole section of the level. We gotta unlock the hands. So that's what we'll do. I'm just trying to remember the easier way to do it. I think actually you want to go up and around. That'd be easier. You can go up here. Then you get up here. And then from here, you just go around the gloves. Or you can accidentally bounce. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a John here. I'm gonna use an excuse. I am technically playing off of the OBS preview window for the capture card, so I do have a slight bit more delay than I'm used to. So it's not like game breaking to me. It's just I can feel some sluggishness here. I I feel like swapping over it inputs every time we gotta do this on a computer to monitor. It's just not needed. We're only looking at things like very briefly on N64. So when we need it, I just pull up a preview and just play off of this. Okay, that barely made it. There you go. We got it. All right, now we're here. Bounce up this area. Let's change colors. Oh yeah. That's an emulation bug. This platform is perfectly fine. I mean, it changes like for a split second from what I'm seeing here, but it's nothing. It's nothing like it was on PC where it just actually changed the entire thing and kept it that color. It's like maybe a split second of green as like a flash effect and that is it. Even if I do this, let's say. Yeah, even when you do that, it's fine. There is no other weird quirks on that front, so I don't know what's going on with N64 to PC. That has to be more of an emulation bug. Yeah, see what I mean, Kira? It's only changing for one color and for a split second, and it goes back to yellow. So it's not a problem. It's just a weird texture emulation thing on PC. It's just not handling it correct. Now, this is way louder than the rest of the game. Oh my gosh, this is loud in my ears. I'm surprised that hit. I really am. Spawn's a joke, by the way. There's really not much to this fight. <laughs> I just moonwalks back to the center. That's it. That's literally all you do. He hit three buttons and he's dead. <laughs> That's why this, this boss fight's a joke. Seriously, he is. Piano looks nice in this one just because of it being uprest. All right, you guys ready to go shooting? The bonus level here is a shooting range. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> There's something wrong. We beat the boss. and said we didn't beat the boss. That's why we'll come back real quick. This is wrong. This is very wrong. Yep. Yep. How? How in the world? Same exact location. Same exact one. Look, if I do this, that's level three, the like level three, the four. Why? Pretend like we didn't beat the boss, but unlocked the bonus. All right, whatever. We just we take those. Extra glitch again. All right, ready for a shooting game? Farting. All you do, you just fart with every press, apparently. <laughs> Why is it farts? Focus on the gears and I'll focus on the targets. You gotta hit all the targets to win. It's 
game has a very big fascination with farting, and it's specifically like this version. N64 definitely didn't fart this much. Why are they coming back? I don't remember that. There's no other buttons, by the way. It's just shoot with the A button. Wait, is there a cheat for that, Kira? I don't remember that. And I can ch change these things into pictures of death. That's cool. Didn't know about it. Uh, I was gonna say, wait, uh, there's no targets. All right, well, we cleared it. It still says we didn't beat the boss, but wait, does it tell me that, oh my god. How did we beat the boss, but we didn't, well, we, 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 I don't, ah! How <laughs> we beat bonus game, but no boss. You can tell there's a texture glitch here. Yep, it just says we haven't beat him. Yet we unlocked the bonus level, so several questions. I just want to pop in real quick to the first world, just as a curiosity thing. I don't remember that being the case for Atlantis. We're gonna check. No, Atlantis does the same thing, that's a bug. It just doesn't count you as beating the boss on graphics, which is very weird. Not supposed to be like that. All right, sure. Very weird glitch. Let's take this ball back. All right, let me see this link you're saying here real quick here. It's a cutting room floor. Oh, okay. So this was like a extra thing. Let me see. What is these egg playing normal pause and okay. Let's try that real quick. I just want to try this. Because I'm going to go and break here in just a minute. Just take a couple minutes to get up, stretch, and all that. But I want to see this difference. Because we can probably do it. I don't see why not. Because we have the Chico menu still accessible in this version, from what I can tell. All right, let's try it. All right, so we need to enter down, up. It's a completely different button. That is like the stupidest thing. Right, right, down, left, right, right. Secret sheet on. Now with that sheet, it should be the developer faces, right? No. Okay. Wait, I have to quit game? Just to try again? Why? I'm on normal mode and this works in normal mode only, so that's why I'm a little confused as to why it didn't work. Try that again. Down, up, right, right. What? Oh, it, oh, uh, what? It's. Look at the cheat codes. The cheat codes are messed up. I know how to fix it. I just don't understand why I need to fix it. I have to completely quit the game and try it again because the, the cheats are for some reason fixed. Like, I put in codes by accident, and it won't get rid of the codes. Don't know why. It activated a secret sheet, and that's all it did. This is just to make sure we get the Garrett Finder real quick. I gotta do the same thing, I think, every time. Load it up, try it out, go to normal, should work. I don't know what secret sheet is that I keep on hitting. I gotta check to make sure I didn't just do a level select, because one of these is level select. Like, you could just get them all unlocked, and I don't want that. I think the more we play this, the more we're realizing this is a really bad port. <laughs> yeah, so many weird issues. My gear finder's working. Let's try this code again. Down, up, right, right, down, left, right, right. It went through. I guess we'll see if it works. And that level back there 
That's not a lot, so that secret code I put in before was not anything else. It had to have been for this. We'll try it again. We'll see. You put in the code, and then you go on the level. That should change it up. If it doesn't work here, then we can just look at the N64. Something's bugged here. Something just bugged if it doesn't work. Yeah, it ain't working. Cause see, I can't enter codes here. It just doesn't let you. But for some reason, yeah, it ain't, uh, ain't applying. So there's something wrong with that specific thing. Let, let's take a look real quick over here. This, this port, man, <laughs> this port has some very weird changes. And it's all the wrong ones. Secret cheats on. Go in the here. Damn, now it worked. The only thing I can think of when it comes to this specific cheat is this might not work now with the Pico release because these original devs no longer have any part in the game and Pico could have just been doing this out of spite. It's like, take out the old devs. Chico don't work anymore. If that's true, that is petty. That is very petty. But yeah, it does work. It's just to play N64. Secret cheat for some reason just keeps on bugging out on the PC one. I don't know why. It shouldn't be bugging out like that. It just is. Hey, welcome back, Ethan. We're just taking a look at a secret cheat real quick on one of the bonus levels that for some reason doesn't work in the PC one. I don't know why. It does not. Okay, at least that works. If you want to know any cheats in this game, you don't even need to look them up. If you just go over to this chicken, he actually tells you cheats. You just have to really pay attention. I don't know if he's gonna make another sound, but this chicken makes a bunch of different sound effects, and those sound effects are the cheats. Like, this is how you would learn it on your own. Don't know if he's gonna do it now or not, but this is normally how you would figure it out. It's just this version being very bugged in a lot of ways, I wouldn't be surprised that somehow they removed that by a complete accident. Everything else seems to be an accident, like that, for example. Sure. Yeah, it's probably a bug in some fashion. It's like, I know the cheat code entering's bug, because look down below. I didn't enter a single cheat yet, and yet it's acting like I did. So, the cheats are bugged in this version. Which, that's great. There's <laughs> some useful codes in this game that just may not work. I think for now, I'm going to take that break of mine. We're going to go over to the pirate world next, so... When we come back, we'll play some more of this. We're not going to beat tonight at this rate, because it's already been two and a half hours, but we'll probably get at least past the halfway mark. So. Cheat turn off codes is all down. Might as well just do that. All cheats off, like recenter it. I'm thinking this one code just doesn't work. We'll check that out one more time, because I'm just curious now, but. Again, we'll, we'll do the pirate world. Maybe another one we'll call it for tonight with that. It depends on how long it'll take. But. So far, I have very mixed opinions with this port. I really do. Like, I still think overall this is a fun and good game. It's just this port's really not showing it. it it's more rough around the edges than it really should be, in my opinion. Yeah, look at that. I hit, I hit down like four times. And it's like, yeah, that's good enough. Cheats are off. Cheats are fully bugged in this one. They're fully bugged. It just doesn't work. No matter what. Because the cheats are just bugged. I don't know why. Whatever. Alright, you know what? We'll take that break now. So, I'm going to go ahead take a break here for a little bit. Question Pico's decisions. And then when we come back, we'll jump into the pirate world. So, stay tuned. We'll be back here in just a few minutes. Alright, we are back. Let's go ahead and continue where we left off. Let's make our way over to pirate world. I don't know why the loading zones in this look so weird. Like, they just... Something about it just looks very off. This one's just... gray. We're gonna still see my cheat codes, aren't we? I'll just make sure they're all off real quick. Just a precaution. Alright, let's do it. Hurry. 
already missed the first set of cards, why don't you? Fall in the water, that's safe. Luckily, that is a drop-off that doesn't matter. You're supposed to drop off there. Well, when you first play the game and you fall down and he <laughs> doesn't die, you get trust issues. Man, look at those footprints. <laughs> it's like, now, they're fine. They're nice and round, just like my feet. Get in the water, they're nice and square. Alright. <laughs> Apparently the water makes your feet square on this one. <laughs> That's another, like, weird texture bug of some kind. Alright, just give me the bowling ball. Well, they didn't just do that, but it's fine. The swine also turn it into a ball, but he didn't get to do that. There's a light back here. Remember that? I'm actually surprised. There's a lot of little things I'm just starting to remember more and more as we play. Like, some things you just don't forget. Now, this current was always weird. Like, you're supposed to just push your way through it. There's, there's no other way. But you're supposed to do it a weird arc. Like, get as close as you can to the wall, then go over to this turbine thing, and then that's enough to push you on the button. It's, it's a weird physics puzzle. Those eyes being there is just so weird, man. I just, I st I'm not gonna get used to that. I'm not gonna get used to that. This one has the same weird quirk. That to do on the left first and then go over to the right and then it's the same exact puzzle. Yeah, it's true, you can't drown in this game, so at least that helps. What was that six? That I've never seen before. He just like zoomed up with the ball but kept on getting on and off the ball. Like, bye. That's a new one to make. Frog would put on the stage. Yeah, if I've seen our frog, we just kill it. <laughs> it's just out of spite. Bad memories. Yeah, we don't need that ball anymore. It's optional. It's fine. Just leave it where it is. Get gear. Where is it even going? Okay, it's going to the center of the island. Kind of weird. I, there's no current in this to pull it over, at least from what I remember. Hey, fair, I could be misremembering. Nice sound effect, right? <laughs> Just, you gotta make it up in your head. It just doesn't have one its own. You don't want to stand underneath that. I think it crushes the ball and it pops it. You just gotta wait. It takes forever to come back down. The bottom looks like spikes, so that tells you don't get underneath it. Excuse me, sword. I need to use you. This is one of my favorite parts about the level. It's just taking control of the sword. But I never knew how to do this as a kid. So I just never did this until, like, a few years after I played the game, I would say. See ya. Best strat at that point. When you're done with them, just let them go. Fall. Whee! 
This is how they teach you about this, like, sword mechanic, but that Mr. Tip is so well hidden, I just didn't see him. So I just didn't know how to do that for a long time. Sounds a bit delayed after your swing. I don't know if that's the plugin I'm using for capturing audio, but it did sound a little delayed in my ears, too. Like, I can't actually tell if it's... I'll have to, like, listen back to the stream when I do, like, a ball juggle. How's the ball juggling sound? That's what I'm curious about. Let me see. Nah, it's just the sword. It's just the sword that's delayed. Because the ball sound is not. Although I do kind of remember that in N64 too. It was like slightly more delayed than it should be. No way, there's going to be another sword. We'll, we'll do it again. But the ball isn't delayed, so it's just the sword sound that is weirdly enough. <laughs> Again, I think that's also a problem in N64, so I'm not going to give the port a problem with that. Yet. Keep that one in mind, because uh, if I go back and hear a difference, then I'll say otherwise. Who needs the ball anyways? Sounds like PC worse version of play. I mean, if you have access to the N64 one, I say that's better. The N64 one is probably still the best version of this game. This one's the best looking graphically, but I mean, it doesn't matter when the gameplay has a bunch more issues. I still would recommend people get this over the original just so you get both versions in one package. It's easier to get a hold of and run. And I don't know how much more the cart could go up in pricing now, because used game prices for any game, no matter what we're talking about, have excuse me, have just gone up. Even if they're like super common games no one want anymore, it's still like they're they're going up. So pricing wise it might still be better off a PC. It boils down to ten dollars per version. Ten dollars for PS1, ten dollars for N64. But if you have access to the original, just buy the original. I know a lot of other people said, I mean, fitting in the pirate world, right? Pirate it. That's what they think when you pirate it, though. Some people come out arguing, saying, just emulate the game if you have it, which is like, that's a whole other argument. That's a gray area no one wants to get involved into. Because logistically, you really shouldn't do that with games you don't own. If their games are not selling anymore, it starts to become a little less of a gray field to some, but it's still, like, it's, that, that's just a touchy subject. I just, like, get, don't, get, uh, around. Go away. It's like the ball. Just push it away from existence. I emulate things, but I think a majority of people will emulate things. It's just how you do it and what you do with is the gray area that you have to, obviously, think about. If I can buy a game, I will buy that before I go emulate it. And I mean, like, legit, like, go to a store and buy it. Because I'm going to give back to the devs. I'm not going to want to steal their product at that point. That just, that's wrong. You don't do that. Alright, let me hear this again. Oh yeah, it's like a delayed beginning for the sword swing. my gear finder. I thought it... Oh, well, I just remember I didn't load up the easy file, so I did actually screw it up. I can't figure out where those remaining four garrups are, which 
have a problem? Because I don't know where I missed four. Well, I wish I could just do a checkpoint select. But we can't have nice things. I don't remember you can get to that ship. I might have missed some in the beginning. Again, I, can't, I wish I had my checkpoint select. I don't know why. I can see the remaining checkpoints I have. I just can't pick them for reasons. Like, which, which one's movement on like, mouse and keyboard? No, seriously, which one's movement? Any movement! <laughs> okay, almost screw that up. I'm like hitting the arrow key against something. WASD, for some reason, it's the C buttons. Don't know why. That's not what I would map. Uh. What? What is the mapping for up and down? I don't even know that. I'm hitting every key, and not a single one is moving the menu. Like, I need to do that, but I can't figure out what the dang key is. <laughs> Obviously, he's not clicking. I just, I don't know what they would have mapped this to. I am legit not sure. So, I'm gonna just have to do this the manual way. I was gonna see if it maybe mouse and keyboard somehow fix that, but I can't even check that. It just doesn't let me. If you're still push it official, you should buy it, but the game is exceedingly hard and expensive because no longer production becomes a little more acceptable. That's, yeah, it's kind of like the mentality I have as well. If it's just something you l legit cannot get anymore, legally it's just impossible to buy, then that's when it starts to become, I wouldn't say acceptable, but just better to do, if that makes sense. Like, it's one of those things where you, you can't give back to the actual devs because it's just not a thing you can do anymore. They don't have a way to buy it. So that's why that way it becomes, I kind of agree, like more acceptable, so to say. But if you can still get it officially, then that's what I like to do. I almost went to castle, which would have been a mistake because for some reason I won't stop moving. Thank you. Yeah, it's like, I agree with the mentality, Ethan. Like, that's pretty much my thought process, too, which is how it's always wor weird to work, because it's a gray area to so many people. And it is even that for a legal standpoint. I have heard of some people trying to justify some of that, where they'll play a game on an emulator, and if they can't buy it for that reason, what they'll do is they will just donate that money to, like, a charity or something to try to, like make that a little more acceptable if that makes sense like try to justify it it's that's even more gray area in some way because that's not the same thing it's just, it's just trying to like, keep your conscience clean i guess at that point but i don't know if i can buy it i buy it that's just my stance Right, now I should have my Garrett Finder again, so I shouldn't have that issue where where did I miss cards? Because now I can just point. That's why I just don't understand why they don't give you that normal mode because it's a weird thing to take away for a difficulty spike. That's like the one weird decision original Glover makes, no matter what version you're talking about. I think the Garrett Finder is just there by default on the PS1 version, but I've played so little I cannot remember. When cold water cells don't feel guilty. In a way, yeah, that's kind of what it boils down to. I get, like, how that can justify in some sense. It's like, alright, I mean, that's better than not doing anything and then playing, I guess, but <laughs> it still feels weird.
I think in terms of where we're at, though, like, this is a weird tangent to go on, but a game like this really does bring it up. I think we kind of move past, at least in a lot of circles now, where emulation is just looked at to be a bad thing. Because it's really not. For years, people associated this with piracy, but it's, it's not that. It's not even close. The act of emulating is 100% legal. You can emulate stuff. That's not going to be a problem. It's how you get your games that could become the gray area to illegal, depending on how we're talking about here. If you're distributing things, that's 100% illegal. You can't do that. If you're downloading a thing you can't buy anymore, that's where the grayness comes in. But just playing it on an emulation service, that's 100% fine. Because companies are doing the same thing. This, for example, is emulation right here. This is emulating a game. And if this version's not the PS1 version, most definitely is emulated on PC. <laughs> that, it, they even hide it. Just, it has the buttons of a PlayStation controller, so they even try. They didn't even try. But the uh, other things by today's standards, like, Sorry about Wii Virtual Consoles when companies like dip their toes in just doing emulation themselves and just haven't looked back. They're all doing it now. So it's by today's standards, a standard in the industry. So now it's not looked upon that way. I'm kind of glad because this stuff always got slammed for no good reason. There are some games, even though I could play on original hardware, sometimes I'd rather just emulate just for convenience factor. Mainly a lot of, like, older, one-and-done style, like, difficulty games, like, say, Ghouls and Ghosts, for example, I'd rather emulate it than play on original hardware, because, oh my gosh, trying to play a game like that without save states, oh boy. So having that is convenient. Hey, Psycho Sam, how you doing? Actually, I'm just gonna leave the ball there, I don't need it for this. Yeah, I don't know if you guys, like agree with that or understand exactly why I'm going with- why is that just floating? That texture's just floating in the air. That's weird. Alright. Like, it depends on the game, like I said, for if I would rather emulate it or not, but if I'm emulating it, it's because I own it. <laughs> That's just where I come up with that regardless, but some games are just better, honestly, than not play on original hardware, just because of convenience factors that we get from modern age things. Okay, a little too much bounce on that one. Coughing, hacking, like heck. Uh, okay, yeah, I get that. Hopefully, you feel better then. Psycho. I don't know if that's an allergy thing or just starting to come down. It's like maybe a cold. Hopefully, it's just allergies. Okay, see you, ball. Now I might as well join you. Over ROM hacks. And then we're just talking about like the concept of emulation now, because this is essentially a lot of emulation stuff with this port. So just that's that's all. Nothing really about ROM hacks specifically. I forgot you die even though you c clearly land on that platform. Like you can click watch, just just watch. I'll do it again. Oh no, it's not that. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, let me do it again. It'll be fine. Platform's not there, you idiot. Just jump down the other way. Cause there is a shortcut you can do here, but don't do that one. Do this one. That one's safer. Okay, it's allergies. Yeah, that's understandable, especially in this time of the year. This is definitely when pollen gets way worse in most areas. I'm gonna get him before Garrup's... That's a yes. I will get the Garrup on the way back, though. Yeah, I agree with Kira on that one. ROM hacks are even more gray area. In some ways, definitely treading on a problematic territory, but that that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> but yeah, I, I agree with Ethan on that one. I, spring is one of the harder seasons for a lot of people, especially depending where you look, because allergies are rampant. Mine the past couple days have been sparking up a bit, which has been a little annoying. Like waking up with some bad congestion. I was half expecting to hear that terror scream before we got to leave, but no, we got out. Got out fast enough.
There we go. Barely made that. This is just in our suction cup thing. Oh, yep, yep. I don't even need the ball here. Get that out of here. So editing rum hack okay, but slightly changed details like that. Yeah, it, it depends on how much effort's put in. Because some rum hacks might as well be a brand new game, technically. If it's literally just changing details here and there, it's really not much of a hack in my opinion. It's just like a like replacing skin of a character with something like eh, it's that's where it becomes more problematic in a lot of circles. Technically, ROM hacks in general are 100 percent a problem legality sake, which is why. Some people try to just make original games once they get their like feet wet in the ROM hacking scene, just because if they want to further game programming sake and like put their foot out there for companies, they, they can't do it ROM hacking. It's just enough to get them to practice, but it's not enough to actually make a difference when it comes to like building up a resume. I play my fair share of ROM hacks as well that are really good. In some cases, ROM hacks can be like nice quality like changes made to an original game that make it the better version to play. I know one of the more famous ones that people talk about so late, especially now with the whole Sonic Origins D-list in the old Sonic games digitally. The Sonic 3 Air has been the big one being talked about because you won't be able to play that one on PC through Steam if you don't have it. So it's, like, it it's been a point of talk again for that reason, but it's supposed to be a more complete version of Sonic 3 which people really like that. They'd rather play that than the original version at this point, which is fair. In some ways, those versions are better. I've played Sonic 3 Complete, and I really like the changes made to that. I forgot there's a crab randomly in this. I don't know where he comes from. It just, hi, I'm a crab. Now I'm here. Also, you can ground pound him from underneath. Because that makes sense. Also, what is with the sound effect? It's definitely buggy. It's like it's dropping the platform consistently when the platform's already down. I, all right, sure. I'm gonna leave this here because these guys are definitely gonna screw me over. They are attracted to the ball, so. Bye. Yeah, I, I'm in the same boat as that one. It's like, I've played ROM hacks that are like, oh yeah, really interesting, changed so much, and others that are just barely any different, which those I usually try to steer clear for that reason. The ROM hack play Sign 3 Knuckles challenges, like Sign 3 Knuckles uses all a specific challenge, is really interesting. You can now allow the off-screen tails of gravity reverts every time you jump. Okay, so that one does sound pretty different than here. The Sonic hacks, I swear, are like some of those innovative ones I've seen, because hey, Sonic hacking scene does a lot of really innovative stuff with those games. Something like that really does make it more like a different package, so to say, at that point. It's like a whole different experience when you have challenges instead of just level by level with the exact same. Oh boy. What? <laughs> I didn't die, and then I died. Alright, well that's a new one. Normally he falls down there instead of heart attack while falling. That's different. Pokemon Blaze Glaze. I don't think I've heard of that one, but I haven't really kept up with those ROM hacks. I've seen a lot of Pokemon ROM hacks. I haven't played... I don't think any. I might play like one couple years ago, but like briefly. It's hard to say, because I don't know. Pokemon ones are definitely ones I haven't really looked into myself. Probably just more because of the idea of them, if that makes sense. Just because of how I haven't really played many Pokemon games to begin with at a certain point. So, eh, I want to play more of the officials before I go in the ROM hack territory, because it's not really my thing. Pokemon is not really much my thing. Hey Amber, how you doing? No gear up there. I have to make sure there's nothing in the box. Uh, 
and watch a Fire Emblem 7 8 ROM hacks to do a lot of interesting stuff. I haven't seen any of those, but I would imagine... Like, I would imagine some of those would change up some of the story, which would be some of the bigger stuff. Because obviously, if you just play the same story beat, you play the originals. This is way better than Mew. Okay. So it sounds like that one's more based on, I guess, original. Like, Gen 1 stuff. Most gentle push of the wood I've seen in a while. It <laughs> barely made a noise. And I'm the one making the noises, not the wood. Okay, ROM hack Gen 3. Okay. It's very well earlier, so lay down. Yeah, Matt said something about that earlier when he was in chat. Hopefully, you do feel better, because yeah, I know the past two days it seems like now you've just been feeling out of it. So hopefully, you just feel better by tomorrow. I'm doing good by myself. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I, it might be this specific level, too, because before it was pretty quiet, now it's much louder. Seagulls don't help! At least tone it down with the pause menu for a minute. Let me turn it down with, like, two clicks. That should be a little bit better. Hopefully now it's not as loud, so I guess try to let me know if it's, like, too quiet or loud! I'm definitely getting loud, that's for sure. The game makes me this way. <laughs> Alright, before we go any further, hang on. Drop it. Find her. Okay, they're up ahead. Oh, I just realized what we're coming up to next. Oh, oh, oh boy. Coming up to my least favorite boss in the game. This one's just so bad. I'm not looking forward to it. Okay, that just doesn't look right. Ball, come back. Wait. That should have been my last two, so where are the others? Oh, they might be in the cage. Oh, oh, yep, I'm sorry, remember. Eh, I'm not gonna do this. Let's go to the checkpoint, that'd be easier. Oh yeah, also this was how you were supposed to get this thing moved. It's just I did it my own way. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Gex. <laughs> yeah. I think that trick still works, even though they've been updating it. This game still is a PS1 emulator for the PS1 version, so... Oops. Oh. See you later, ball. Oh, they're further back. Oh, I see them. Oh, wow. That's really far back. I don't like that. Because that's... That's a walk, because I... For some reason, still can't go back a checkpoint because someone thought that hey, you know what'd be funny? Taking away a native ability. That'd be fun. Why? Seriously wanna know what broke that. Oh, 
Don't do this guy's on a mission. All right, time to die. Just give him a minute. This is victory cry. This is murder every time. I just, I why, why does it do that? Never did that before. Ball, ball. I should probably kill these guys, but this is like, ah, I'm already halfway tempted here. Please kill that one. Should probably just kill him in general. I, I'm getting more of this ROM hack as we talk about Psycho. It sounds more of like, definitely one if you're more of a diehard player of Pokemon, like, you know more of its meta gameplay in and out, then that's definitely a game to try out for that reason. So I can definitely see its appeal. I, don't know, I was never really one to get into the meta stuff myself. I just found it to be a very big time sink, and by today's time... Okay, I cannot have this happen again. By today's, like, metric of time that I have, it's like, yeah, I don't know if I can really sink it into a game like that. Or like any of them, to be fair. I mean, they just... And the most I'll do with that is like, get an nature I like on a Pokemon. Which I know is not really that hard to do. It just takes time. Alright, here we go. This boss fight, in my opinion, is probably the hardest one. For all the wrong reasons. It's just... There's so many issues with this one, technically. It's mainly with this big old gorilla. Half the time you try to hit him with a ball, and it just bugs the heck out. I've had times my ball fell through the floor. Let's hopefully see if this happens here. I really hope it doesn't fall through the floor. What exactly I hit him with? I think it has to be bowling ball. Nice. Sorry, the bonus stage did earlier. The bonus stage was a jank because of the weirdness of it. This one's hard because of other jank. And they have this boss interacts with the ball. To be fair, I could also misremember this too, so. Yeah, hit my crystal. Yeah, that's the fastest way to get a game over. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. Gotta be careful with these chimpanzees, too, because they can easily just grab your ball and just start juggling. There's, I think, a clip you could do. If you can just get in here, that's the end of the level, and you just win. But you need to do it with the ball. I like how the music just cut out there. It's just like, alright, we're not gonna try to loop it. Just go. Okay, it has to be a heavier ball. None of these work. That would also work, too. I just beat Sonic Generation Xbox. Yeah, Generation's like maybe four hours at most. It's a very short game. Yeah, it's Heavy Ball and just slapped into him. I like how these guys can juggle the bowling ball to who when he can barely lift it. It's just like, yep, yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, hit one is the easiest, I now remember that too. Cause hit two and three, cause he's smaller, it's awkward to hit him with this thing.
It's probably just best now. I'm starting to remember the strats. Wait for him to grab the tree, get underneath, and then just chuck the ball straight up. Because it makes it a little more consistent to hit the guy. This final hit's the worst, though, because he's so small, barely reaches him. The ball. Take. Let me try the little thing. Okay. How bad of course is it? Yeah, yeah it's it bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I do have the N64 in standby. We've been flip flopping between the versions, and uh, oh man, we've been reversing a lot of flaws. A lot of flaws. There's some weirdness to this version. Some weird jank that didn't exist before. The saying song, because this game already had weird jank. It just got weirder. How the heck do you get this final hit on him? Let me try the standard ball. Oh, we can't even get back. <laughs> we can't get back because I knocked down his brethren. <laughs> Sir, please move. I can't go home. Must go to tree. That's home. Pro's low, low, no lag. Can't emulator bugs as well. <laughs> Yep, that's about right. Okay, I am trying to remember how you do this final hit, because I am definitely doing it wrong. Stunned him and he already got back up. Are you kidding me? I can keep it. Who needs that? At least he stays at this health, no matter if I die or not at this point. So it doesn't matter if I die. Okay, that clearly hit him. <laughs> Just okay, yeah. Didn't count, buddy. Like, you're supposed to hit his bullseye, and that's what makes it so weird. It's just next to impossible to hit the bullseye. His hitbox is, like, this big when he's this small. That's why it doesn't work. And anytime you get close to him, he gets off the tree, and you can't knock him over when he's not on the tree. So it's like, th there's a lot of weird jank. This is not exclusive to this version. This is just a issue with this fight, period. Playing this on PS1 once, never got past the first level. He took it back. That is fair, because this game is very janky, even on PS1 as well. I mean, that version's worse in a lot of ways. It made some very weird changes. There we go. And the monkeys don't leave. These guys stay around, so don't don't let them get the ball. Trade for Gex 1 and 2. I mean, as much as I like this game, that's probably the better trade. Because Gex 1 and 2 are really good games as well. Oh, I remember this one. It's a flood. Need to get the ball down here and rise up with it. Oh no. No, we don't. I can't I can't stop running. And then I die. Okay. I can't stop running in that state. I'm just like that, 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 like that's the problem. So I have to get on platform before I can actually jump again when that happens. Which is uh, kinda awkward. There we go, that's better. He 
this music's different. Yeah. Oh no! Don't don't you dare pop that. Nice camera. <laughs> Can't see. I hate that fish. I think I gotta kill it. It's gonna constantly try to attack me, so I gotta attack him first. I gotta get on the ground, though, because I can't even ground pound this state. There. No more problem of fish. For some reason, hitting the barrels caused the water to, like, raise up, and I don't know why. Is that extra life? I think that's an extra life in there. I don't really need it. This is actually one of the easier bonuses, if I remember correctly, just because of the nature of how this works. Not really that bad compared to some of the others that are a little more janky. It's a proper platforming stage. Alright, I was standing on air for a minute there, or on water, I guess, in this case. <laughs> more fish response to mess with you. Luckily, that doesn't happen. When the fish is dead, the fish is dead. Cancel. Thank you. I don't want to slap this thing. That would be a problem. Yeah, just a few more garrups. Keep on standing on nothing there. It's like the weird physics of the current, I think, that's causing that. Nice camera. Three more garrups, and then we should be good. Extra life for the road. I took the ball with me. It just felt like I needed to. I don't know why. Force of habit, I guess. There we go. Oh, we're definitely halfway through the game at this point. I think we go back to the file select. that should say halfway when I put this ball back to the fountain. Because there are six worlds in total. That was world three we just did. I'm gonna fart. Thank you. I don't know why it's a fart sound. It's so weird to me. I just don't understand. Now, I think that's where we're gonna stop tonight when it comes to making progression. But I do want to try something before we're done. We're not done just yet. Because I do want to mess with some game files on this one. So, yeah, that's exactly 50%. So, here's the weird thing when it comes to this game. This was left in its original frame rate. No alterations made whatsoever. There's no settings. In fact, let me go into the actual settings thing here, and you'll see what I mean. We go to options. This is what we get. We get the music, the control, high scores, and controls. This tells you how to move. I like how it says D-pad is left, right, up, down, but that wasn't working in the menu. I tried that in the menu and it didn't work. So here's the thing. 
if you go into your app data folder on your computer, you'll get sent to the INI file. You want to open the configuration file, and if you do that, you can actually change the frame rate of this game. So zero is like N64, one you set the 30 FPS, two you set the 60, because by default this game is only running in 20 frames per second. So we're going to bump this real quick. So one thing first is I want to set this, because apparently it was set to 720p, I didn't even know that. The frame rate I'm going to change to 1. So now we're going to play in 30 FPS. Let's load the game back up. Yeah, this is the copy Morley gifted me on Steam. Alright, I'm going to wait for the game to get hooked here for a second, OBS, but I can already see a difference. Look at how that is. That's much faster. Much faster. So let's go to practice real quick. I'm going to play through the practice, I think, with these frame rate changes. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like the game's running at double speed! Wow, that looks weird. Oh my god, that, <laughs> that looks weird. So I was actually debating on doing this in general with the game, just changing the values to play in a higher frame rate for the whole playthrough. But I learned my lesson after LA Noir when we streamed that a few years ago on PC. That could break things to a point where it's unplayable. So I learned my lesson. And because of it, we're just playing with zero, which puts it as like default like 20-ish frames. So, it's very weird, though. Like, this scene's fine. 30 FPS doesn't seem bad. It looks weird, that's for sure. But it's not unplayable. Yeah, I'm wondering the same here, and that's the next one we're going to change. We're going to bump it to 60. I don't know if it can go any higher than 60, though. That's my question, because I have a monitor that can go higher than that, but I don't think this game can. I think this is capped. Actually, while I'm doing this, let me see something real quick. Let me also change something here on the capture. I just thought of this. Uh, Third party overlay, yes. Give it a second to rehook. You can kind of see in the corner. I don't know if we can blow it up, but I have a frame rate counter on, and it says it's in uh, 30. I don't know if I can blow that up. I really don't. Hang on. I have one other idea that could blow it up. Just don't know if this would work right away. It might not. Because I have a program that can hook. That'd be hook. Restart. Okay, River Rivertune's not working. I have a software that can actually give me a proper, like, FPS counter, but it's just not getting hooked right now. I'll leave it on, because maybe I can see if I can get the hook when I restart. Oh, that looked weird. That looked weird. That's not supposed to be like that. Alright, let's change the INI file again. Oh, nope, now, now it hooked. Alright, you can see it now. You can see it now. I'm going to get rid of the Steam overlay one. So you can see more information, too, but that doesn't matter. You can just look at the FPS counter. So it's at 30 right now. So let's go ahead and quit. And now, I still have the file open. Let's change it to 2. 2 puts it to smooth, which is 60 FPS. Alright, so give it a second once again to show up in OBS. And there it is. Okay, this intro cutscene is definitely playing faster, but also the camera's going slower. So now you can see my FPS counting software hooked the game, so it's at 60, although it's at 61? Question mark? Okay, sure, 61. We'll go, we'll go with that. <laughs> oh, it's loading so fast, certain things aren't even happening. Look at that floating, oh god, oh no, oh no. <laughs> what is this? He's spazzing. <laughs> that oh, you can tell this is not supposed to run past 30. Ah, uh, this looks weird too. Oh my gosh. This just looks weird. <laughs> yep. We got some issues. Got some issues here, Chief. <laughs> Glover definitely doesn't like being ran anything past 30. 
So I will say, bump the INI file to one, it's fine. Anything past that, and uh, no, don't, no. This game is heavily reliant on physics, and look at this. I'm rolling up a hill and it just judders. You know what we're doing after this. We're going higher. My monitor's set to 120 frames. We're gonna go to 120. Then after that, I'm gonna set it at its max, 165 hertz. So we're gonna go to the unlimited, which will put it, and oh my god, it actually, <laughs> I hit the button once and it counted as two inputs. Look at him on the switch. I can't handle it. You really shouldn't play this any higher than 30. Oh my gosh. I wanna see how this game breaks at 165. I'm just curious. Dude, those platforms were instantaneous. This is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad at this frame rate. Like, even disappearing, you're just shuddering out of existence. Alright, let's try this again. One last change to the file. Number three. Unlimited. Now it should just run to the monitor spec. Right now, my screen is set to 120 frames per second. So, give it a minute. The game will get rehooked with my frame rate counter. I don't really see much of a difference in terms of certain characters, but man, this care this camera's busted. This is at 120. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't even load. <laughs> it just crashes. <laughs> you can't even get past the title screen. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. <laughs> I feel like we want to actually see the game. No, it won't go past it. It actually won't go past it. I'm gonna force it. I'm gonna force it right now. So I'm gonna apologize if the stream gets like choppy in certain sections, cause I'm gonna go into my monitor settings right now and adjust things. So that just hiccuped a whole bunch of frames. That's fine. We don't really need stability on a blank screen. So I'm gonna go into the game again. I just capped my monitor to 60 frames cause we know 60 works. So I'm gonna give it a second to hook the game. I'm afraid of what's gonna happen when we load the level. So what we're gonna do is just go right into practice. And then from here, I will change things. All right, now that we're in, I'm gonna change my monitor back to where it was, 120 frames per second. All right, let's go back into the game. It's running. But it didn't change with the frame rate, it's still set to 60. So even though I changed my monitor spec, it won't change the game. So I guess it's it's hard locked at 60. You can't go past it, because the game will crash. So we gotta do one more test for science. One more test. I have set my monitor to its max. 164.917 hertz. Essentially 165 frames per second. We gotta see if this works. We gotta see if it even gets past a certain screen. <laughs> it can't even get past the intro! Like, not even to the title screen, it couldn't even get past the intro, like, credit roll. <laughs> wow. Alright, well, anything past 60 frames in this game cannot handle it. It just gives up. So, there is a hard limit. This game has a hard limit of 60. Anything past it crashes. Wow, good to know. So, what did we learn here today? We learned that there are certain files you should not be able to modify in a game. This being one of them, because it was not designed for anything past 20. It works with 30, it gets more unstable with 60, if I out crashes anything past. Good to know. Good to know. I think we'll call it with that, because I, I don't think we can top it, really. That was a good impactful stream. I'm gonna get off of this now. Close out this game, because it, it, it done, man. It <laughs> I give up today. I give up. All right, good to know. I'm gonna change that file. I'm gonna put it to zero, because for me, I've already been playing it with that specific set, so I should be okay to leave it at zero. So, ah, uh, man, I don't know. There's some very weird quirks with this game, that's for sure, but at least it works, I guess. <laughs> this is that. 
Yeah, I, I guess that's the case on that one, Kira. Like, the PC version back in the day would have ran close to the 30. I think it still had that 20 frame rate. Like, hard cap in the code, but... It might have tried to, like, get close to the 30. I don't know. I never played that version. I never even seen footage, so I wouldn't know myself. But, yeah, uh, there's a hard cap. Anything past a certain frame rate causes issues. I would just recommend leaving it at zero for the original experience. And maybe bump it to number one in that file to get the 30. 60 to me is too much. The game's unplayable at 60. I can I can feel it. If Glover's jittering around going on certain platforms, it would just break a lot of the physics. I and mean, how integral the ball physics are for a lot of the puzzles, probably just better leaving it at zero. Or maybe 30 at most. Like what zero for 20 frames or like the six the 30 frame option. But yeah, we're done. I'm not gonna do anything else here, so. I'm just trying to get some stuff set up. I'm going to talk here for the rest of this, and that's about it. I'm going to actually put us just to the this chatting category real quick, just so people get confused near the end. That way I don't have any issue. Am I slightly desynced? It might be because of the monitor changing. I never do that on stream. No, it's it's fine. Uh, try refreshing if it's out of sync, because it's fine on my end while I'm watching on Twitch. I don't know what to go on there. I mean, I'll just do a safety anyways. I'll just give it the good old... Oh no, it's dead, Jim. Hey, it's back. I'll just give it a good old like refresh on that front, because me messing with like PC stuff could definitely cause a weird hiccup, but that's eh, just to be safe. But yeah, we're, we're going to pretty much call it with Glover. We'll continue this next week, probably finish it up. Be like a two-parter. I don't know if I'll play the PS1 version right away, but I might look into that as well. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll, I'm seeing what you're saying there, Kira. Recheck Nitro Ride Video Glover. We showed small clip the PC version. Mentioned it had a higher frame rate, and the footage showed it. So if that's the case, it probably is in uh, 30. Let me see something. I can check that myself real quick because I'm curious. Uh, I don't know which part of it would have been PC. I can tell by just looking at this footage. Do you know what timestamp that is, out of curiosity, Kira? May make this a little bit faster. Because I'm seeing here with the N64, if I frame advance it, like every third click or fourth click I'm getting for frames for N64, but that's right for about the 20. Oh yeah, you're fine, Amber. Don't worry about it. I mean, again, we're kind of just wrapping up now. All you were to miss is like the weird jank on PC. It's from us like bumping the frame limits. Towards the end? Okay, that helps. Now I'm just curious. I'm seeing he also mentions like the whole Glover 2 didn't happen because of too many cart thing. I, I gotta watch this later because I've seen a lot of his videos, but I don't think I've seen Nitro's N64 uh, Glover stuff. Because I'm seeing here at least like near the end he's talking about the PC, not the PC, yeah, the PlayStation version. Ooh, also, thank you there for resubscribing, Ethan. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's almost been four years. That's hard to believe. It's been a long time. Uh, no, it's N64 Gex. <laughs> I was like, wait, that didn't help. I see an X64 thing. I'm like, wait, not yet. Like, no. Uh, I may check it out more later. Can't seem to find the exact clip. Let me just do one more thing. Lover PC. I'm gonna see. Okay, I think I found some footage here, so I can kind of confirm it. Yeah, PC. Here we go, I found it. We go ahead a little bit here. It depends on the hardware you're running, because I've seen some people actually are running this game in like, five frames. No, it's actually running in the same as N64, at least from what I'm seeing. 
there was a video here from uh, Exo Paradigm Gamer, his uh, XP series, as he calls it, where he goes over the different versions of games and kind of compares them. I'm frame advancing this. This is in 20 for PC. So it looks like the original PC was a 20 FPS cap as well. Maybe if you like pushed it with like modifying stuff, it might have been higher, but what I'm seeing is the same. Vegan comes to say Gex. There's so many weird Gex jokes from Scott, I can't remember half of them. I know this is the big joke in his videos at this point. Alright, but yeah, with that, I do want to show like one quick thing, because I was talking about this in like at least a Metal Gear stream. As you can kind of tell, like my background's different compared to how it was like last week, because it was a mess. And that's because I did get some stuff fixed. Because now I'm going to toggle LED. There we go. I'm going to swap over real quick. I think it's... Which button is it? Yeah, this one. So if I hit... Oh, it, it ain't working. Hang on. That should have worked. Yeah, it ain't working. Wow, my camera's not working for some reason. Oh, for some reason the port changed. That's why. That's weird. That could explain it. Yeah, now it's working. I don't know why that URL changed. All right, now it should work. So, there we go. I want to show this real quick. I talked about this specific setup last week where I had to move around my stuff because I got a new shelving unit for consoles. And I got it all set up actually like earlier today. This is why we were able to take a look at the Glover stuff. Just give me a minute. I am not walking over there for this. I have the N64 on. And that shows it is all hooked up because it's running into our upscaler here. So I have my whole thing as tidy as it can get. It's not going to be perfect, but I made wires as hard to see as possible. I think this works really well. I'm actually going to shrink this down because it's a little too zoomed in. There you go. It it works really well, in my opinion. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And I have plenty of free space, like... I have three shelves worth of space if I wanted to put more systems in the future, so if I want to expand, I can. Where I have all my hardware equipment, like internet stuff, HDMI switches and extra, I can't put too many things there, but I can put stuff there. I don't know what, but I could put some systems there if I want. For now, I got things laid out as follows. The Xboxes along with the Dreamcast are down below. All my Playstations are right there in the middle. All the Nintendo systems, or at least a good chunk of them, are right in, like, the third shelf area. It really helps to have the N64, GameCube, and Super Nintendo right next to each other, because they all share the same video cord. Mainly the N64 and GameCube, for my sake, because I got a special cord for the Super Nintendo. Only works on that. Nintendo Switch up above on its own thing. I was going to put the Wii U on this one, it just it wouldn't fit in the orientation I had, so I had to bump it up one shelf, put the gamepad with it. This one's a little hard to see, but... If I can get closer, you can kind of see the PSTV, which I didn't know it was on right now. I guess I have it plugged in, so this whole time it's been on. Yeah, it's fine. Got the upscaler there, which everything is running into as best as it can. And then the other two shelves are really just storage at the moment. So the NES is just there for show. It's not hooked up at all. I have no reason to hook this up because I play most of those games on other platforms like the Switch or the Wii, stuff like that. And then I just have some Sonic stuff up above, like memorabilia sake and like the Sonic statues and such. Like That's just how I have it for now. I'm still kind of playing around with things, but I think this all turned out well. This was kind of what would hold me back a lot in terms of what I would have streamed this week, which is a big reason why we wanted to just like, oh, we'll play a PC game. But now that I got it all hooked up, it's like, ah, eh, you know, once we're done with Glover, we're just free bound to do anything. This was not easy to run this stuff because I had to obviously tight it all best I can. And then I had to run one HDMI around here to the other side of the room because this is where my capture card is. It's in this computer. But if I look over here... It's really hard to do this. You can kind of see on the floor, that's my HDMI splitter that's where it's getting ran into and also had to run a cord over there for internet so yeah there's a lot 
There was definitely a lot in that setup. It, it came out good. It was just, it took like three days between tearing it all down, hooking it all back up, and getting things all tidied. It took a long time. So, I'm going to turn this light off so my phone cool down a little bit. I'll get the camera on because I need to use it again. But, yeah. That took a while, but now we're free game to do whatever else after Glover. Because I was, again, mainly doing a PC thing because it was easy. I could just capture on the system that's hooked up. I'm not touching this. Yes, yeah, so I can play Glover on PSTV. I mean, I could. Technically, it is a modded PSTV, so... With Homebrew, I could put the PlayStation version on there, or an N64 emulator, I guess. But I could do that. Don't want to, though. I've been playing the PlayStation version on PC at this point, if I'm going to play it. But yeah, that's, like I said, that was the big thing. I kind of want to give people an update on that, if you've seen that in, like, the end of the Metal Gear Solid VR thing I did last week, because I kind of talked about it. It was, like... It was kind of like show pieced at that point. Put things where I needed it just to see what systems work on what show. But I didn't have anything set up yet. And I had a very temp set up with the two systems we needed that day. So that's all done now, which I'm glad. So on Thursday, we'll, we will be continuing the Metal Gear Solid VR missions stuff. We might finish VR missions. I'm not sure yet because we're just about halfway, technically. It's like 46%. So we'll see. I know the later ones are going to get more busy, so to say, with the missions. So probably realistically maybe be two weeks, but it's possible we could finish it tomorrow. It just depends. But yeah, check that out. Come back on Thursday for that. Uh, let me get my buttons up for the other things. I do have to mention the YouTube site. It's slow right now because the latest release you're seeing is just a stream. And that's all you're going to get until this Saturday with this Glover stream. And that's it. It's like... <laughs> Right now, I'm preparing for my new project on YouTube. I'm going to launch that on May 2nd, I believe. Yeah, it's the 2nd. The first Monday of the month. I have it ready. It's all set. I just got done scheduling it, and I actually had to re-upload one of these videos for the next upcoming Let's Play series because there was an editing issue I had to go fix. So at this point, it's all ready to go. That'll launch three days a week. It'll go on for about, I think it's like up until like mid-June. If I can remember, I'll check that real quick as I'm talking here. But yeah, that's, like I said, a new series is going to come out then. I want to give us a little bit of time between Sonic Adventure 2's ending and a new series. I think going forward, what I might do is that when we finish the series, I may wait until the beginning of a new month and then start it then. So breaks could be like maybe a week or two or maybe like almost a month between projects. That way it give me a little more buffer time. It's on still kind of toying in my head. Yeah, the last video here, which is a bonus episode, goes up on June 8th. So, that's a little over a month, which is not bad. Yeah, I wonder what it is. I mean, I guess you have to just wait and see on that one. I'm trying to think of a good hint. Uh, Because it's very hard without just saying, it's this thing. That's the problem. I will say, uh, I guess the easiest way is that I I needed to get a thing for this and I had to really fight for it. If you're remembering last year's streams, I did tell a story about a very specific thing that got lost. That kind of details it a little bit more. I'm not going to say any more than that because that really gives it away if you remember the story. But I will say this is a portable game. I will say that much. It's a portable game. It's got some re-releases and it is one of my favorites on the system. Not going to say more than that, because I'm really giving it away. I will just say, it, it's one of the most expensive games I've ever bought. Because look at its used game price. It's it's a price game. That tells you it's a retro game. But yeah, I'll probably give a bigger hint on Thursday as well. It's Glover, yep, exactly. We're doing it again. It's Sonic 1 GBA. Oh, even better. I don't think that game goes with that much. The game I'm talking about costs, I think on the used market, at least like $300. Actually, I'm going to just do a quick price check. The first result I see. I guess what I'm saying is, go check out the LP League. We're, we're doing the remaining Mario Party stuff. We only have, at this point, one more board left, and we're uploading it one day a week, this whole week, to finish it up. So, 
go check that one out if you're a big fan of the Mario Party stuff. Okay, I found a copy of this loose for about $112. So that, that kind of tells you that this game is expensive. That's why I really fought to get this last year, because I needed a physical copy of this. I just needed it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, next time when it came out, this was definitely a lot of fun. Just seeing the differences in Glover. Really questioning half of their changes, because there's some really questionable ones here. I'll definitely say that much, and we'll continue it next week. Probably finish it. Yeah, we're all Fire Emblem Path Radiance Radiant on. Yeah, those games are way more. Way more. Plus, I'm not on handheld, so there's also that. So, yeah, I guess now with that, that's going to be it. So, I'm out of here. Thank you guys for coming out, and I'll see you guys on Thursday for more Metal Gear Solid VR missions. Take care, and have a good night, everybody.